Hello everyone and welcome back to the Four Pillars podcast with me, George, and the other pillars, the boys. Introduce yourself at the same time. Like hey, I'm hello. Everybody. Beautiful. Uh, nice right. to go. Well, welcome, I think you know everyone. who we all are by now. Welcome. Imagine to this being your podcast. first episode of the Four Pillars podcast you're listening to, and you're like, I don't know any of these people. Why am I here? Yeah, yeah well, you probably already do. left. Now move on. Yeah, <laughs> don't leave this. Yeah, well, I mean, to be fair, there could there could be lots of people here that are new. Um, yeah, because we I are so. going to be talking about some quite serious. Mm-hmm. I mean, obviously we hope so. We always always welcome new people into the community, um, wherever they shit. are. Um, and we've got, of course, in, you'll see in the title some serious shit we're going to be covering in this episode. There's been a lot going on, um, and we've been following the, the obviously the Ubisoft controversy, allegations, um, and just terrible culture from that shit company. Uh, and Josh, this is the one episode when we're talking about it in context, you're allowed to not bleep that company name or any of their titles. Look, he already took um, it upon himself this, last episode to miss oh, out. Oh, that son it. of a bitch! Yeah, he, <laughs> but he's, he's off. Imagine if this episode only lot. he's off the hook. Imagine this if he just episode only. The lot. It's like a long episode. I of mean, bleeping. I would, I wouldn't be upset with it though. I wouldn't be upset. I'd respect it. I'd, I'd respect it. Yeah, yeah. I'd respect yeah. it. But sure. um, this episode his, his doesn't need to bleep it for because we are talking about it in context. And it's the only time we're allowed to talk about it on this network, um, mm-hmm. without it being bleeped, is in context to the allegations and holding Ubisoft accountable. Also, Activision, Blizzard, a lot's going on this week. But we do yeah. like to have a lot of fun on this show. We like to have a laugh. We like to goof off for it. We're just a bunch of silly geese gotten together. Flock of us. Flock of silly geese. <laughs> yeah. um, the flock of geese. Just for, here for a silly, ge- silly goose time. Um, so it's we're, we're going to start off just doing what we normally do. Australian bird. And, and having a chat. Three pigeons and a bird. Uh, is the name of the show. Three pigeons <laughs> and a bird. Hey guys, and, um, back. Three pigeons and Pigeon. a bird. Um, <laughs> but we will get into it. And once, once we... It is a great... Actually, it rolls off the tongue. Once we get into that topic, that'll be the rest of the show. So yeah. that, obviously, we want that to be serious and we don't want to, like, try to laugh about it afterwards or make, like, jokes or whatever. We're just going to... Well, now you've set that precedent. Yeah, I mean, you, uh, that's Fuck. only this podcast. We'll, we joke about everything and anything all the time um, because that's how we deal with it because we're awkward as fuck. Yeah, um, it's, and, it's true. But it's before we get into it, we're here for a laugh and that's that's at the end of the day but if this is, is your first time joining us be sure to obviously subscribe to Four Pillars Network listen to more of the shows there's some great shows on here obviously the Streamcast podcast is great um, is it? and the Tynamite <laughs> show and as always podcast which will eventually come back soon um, <laughs> yeah, but yeah we're, we're, re- we're ready to rock and roll <laughs> um, and <laughs> roll and rock Jesus! Uh, um, oh fuck! I'm and we're tired. just and we and as I said, here for s- s- silly goose time. Ethan, why are you tired, mate? Didn't it's get much right. sleep last night, mate. Um, I'll ask why you were tired, but that's because you it's Australia and you was like too busy throbbing. There. It's I'm too busy throbbing, obviously. Too busy throbbing. Um, the throbbing. The well, throbbing. You know, no, you know well, what? In Thursday the context, night, what we're I've, I've worked. Up later, worked let's not week. go into it's that. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's not. not go into throbbing. Let's not go into that. Let's not yeah, go into you're throbbing. Right. Yet. This is not not a day for the young throbber. This is not um, a day for throbbing. And no, it's not. It's not a day. It's not a day. Um, I'm yeah. Oh, well, we've not. already fucked. It. Um, and and <clears throat> yeah. Well, I mean, it's Thursday night. Obviously tired. Been a you know, it's a four days into the work week. Yeah. And last night I was up to two in the morning doing back to back podcast with the Conversations Boys. Great oh podcast, God, including the Black Widow streamcast. Way to spend my yeah. night. To like one I had a fucking enough, like, great time. To him. Imagine I, yeah. I did three hours oh on the God. Conversations podcast, which was very, got very personal. Soul crushing. Um, Soul crushing. And then personal. streamcast talked about Black Widow, James's favorite film of all time. Oh, Fuck yeah. me. Um, Imagine so well, I was exhausted. Black it was like two Widow. in the morning. I'm like about to pass out. I was a zombie at the end. Because um, oh. they said that, like, you don't have to do the streamcast if you don't want. I'm like, fuck it, here we are. Let's just fucking crack on. Order. I would have said, so thank it today you. I am not fat. doing it. Thank <laughs> I wouldn't you so have much. accepted it, that even any of them, to be honest. I would have like, hey, off. Black Widow and conversations. What the <laughs> fuck? Yeah, no I way. I'm wearing my I'm wearing my conversations conversations, conversations T-shirt um, that you can you can get. That's um, fair enough. So I I love wow, those. Support boys. The I, I give them shit, but we we I love them. Mm, yeah. I know James actually does hate them. Cool. <laughs> 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 yeah, <laughs> fucking do. Uh, fucking combo. But it's fucking great time. So I, I mean, I'm tired. Here we are. It's nine forty in the evening on a Thursday, but it's Friday tomorrow. It's probably an alright day to be tired, I guess. Mm. Um, I thought it was Friday yesterday, all day, and then really? it wasn't. I don't know. I just thought it was Friday. He, okay, this this is a thing. We're having a conversation about this, James, and I've talked to you about this many times over the years. Okay. I feel like, but yes. but you text us before the, we we're talking about about you before you got onto the call. Okay, um, understandable. Yeah, we were talking you shit text about us you. going, 
Yeah, we're talking shit about you. Yeah, and yeah, I was yeah. like, I want to ask you about it. Okay. And I'm making it sound like a big deal. It's not at all. This is actually going to be funny. But um, you text that Sora, your dog, was throwing up. And yes. was it either of George go, why is everyone in that family sick all of the time? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> we gave going it to on? him, yeah. <laughs> what's like is Elva get like she has headaches is that does she get headaches like, I've seen her, I've seen her say a house? few times like oh I can't be can't stream today I'm not feeling too well so, what, yeah, what sometimes eating? but not that often she's are you eating fruits and veggies are you getting fine. a protein bro are you exercising like what's going you're on you're getting vitamin D <laughs> you're getting your I fucking nutrients you, bro I think I give you a run for your bro. money <laughs> For how healthy I am, I think we could go head to head in a healthy race. <laughs> healthy race. <laughs> I <think> I, <laughs> I, James, I, I mean, yeah, I mean, I feel like that's not a good idea. Look, I was I the fastest like... kid in my primary school. I could be everyone. <laughs> the fastest. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's actually going to be When you're a, a kid, race. that's like the measure of how sick you are if you're like fucking. Is really it how fast? fast? True. Yeah. I was, that's I, I was so always true. quite fast true. because I could run away from the authorities when I committed crimes. <laughs> but yeah. Well, when I did a bit of shoplifting and just fucking dip, dip down Yeah, the no, I absconded. I was gone. They, they didn't <laughs> see me. It's like one moment I was there, the next I was on my 10 toes and I dipped. I was just. Ten toes. Oh wait, why? Did, why is that weird? Because everyone has ten toes. What the fuck's yeah, wrong with me? Does, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's like ten toes. <laughs> yeah, like, that's well, not everyone. Don't be weird. fucking able. Oh, yeah, yeah, shit. The dude, average amount true. of You're toes fucking, is probably like honestly? nine. Fucking piece of shit. Hey, Fuck. Like seven sure and a half. Have toes on one person. I want to Google it. Most it's toes the on one person. <laughs> 28. That's fucking 20 mental. fucking 8? What? That's just get, getting greedy, really. Yeah, it's mental. No, sell those no. toes on fucking eBay, man. That's not true. It's like, a picture. It's yeah, like advanced pictures. feet pictures. <laughs> uh, How do you put mental. that in a shoe? Google How do you put it. that put, in put a in shoe? Put it in the chat. Put it in the chat. We really need to add Josh to this chat. That's so we can true. see and throw these things up. Yeah, we Because he's having to find them himself. Like a savage. Wait. Uh, let me get up. Come on, mate. Download. Get, fuck We're really fucking abused. Man with 28 toes. With the cursed shit we find, Josh must think, why the fuck did I Yeah, it's this? honestly... We're just sitting yeah, here yeah. laughing and and, and and berating someone who... Has 28 born, toes. Green um, he's almost got three toes. I mean, I'm just need. curious. This is, this is science for me. Um, this is science for me. Actually, I'm, you're not allowed to say disfigured anymore. You get cancelled for that. Like, I'm inbred and I don't even have 28 toes. Why I feel that? like I've... I, I don't like know. Ubisoft got cancelled for it, didn't they? For what? Did you for that? Uh, yeah, yeah, they got done in for that, um, which was the worst thing they've done. Yeah, um, of course, naturally. It is, so. some would argue. They would certainly argue that. They would argue that, yeah. Yeah, that they would argue that. The worst thing they've done is fucking hot drinker summer. And we're not going to go into what Hot that is. drinker summer, what the fuck? If that's you don't fate. know, that's good. <laughs> Keep not <laughs> knowing. Oh, that is good. boy. <sighs> I can't find yeah. the picture on my computer, but there is a horrible picture in, uh, on my phone. It's looking... Honestly, mate, just send it out the group chat on uh, your phone. Oh, uh, yeah, the Facebook one, of course, yeah. Are you f- yeah. Let me quickly bung that in there. It's not very pleasant, <laughs> but... Hey, guys, welcome to the podcast. Of they were looking Whoa, at what? That's fucking wild. Uh, that's, I'm gonna, that's, I'm sure that's jo- really Josh, what? you'll wonder why I sent you this at the time on, <laughs> on, on Messenger. Messenger. <laughs> You'll understand Messenger. when you listen to this. Yeah, oh. can knock someone out. I'm just going to text Josh going, this will make sense. <laughs> this will make sense eventually. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of cursed Honestly. shit you must send Josh before like, before I do he send needs Josh to see it. And he goes, Tyler, what the fuck? And, and, oh my and God. eventually he understands. Doesn't mean he likes it, but he understands. You keep that poor lad on the ropes. Honestly. We, we, we keep him guessing at this point. That's what's That's happening. True. <laughs> what a strange thing to send to your editor a picture of as as you can see ladies and gentlemen if you're watching the podcast a, a, a person with um, 28 toes is that 28 um, it's many but I'm not sure if I could count it it is a lot it looks it, like it's 15 like, 17 actually I might it looks like same. a solid I mean one foot has I count Jesus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10 on one and then I count Ooh, I mean, it depends. Is that little stump on the other on the yeah? On the I'd right say foot? it is. Yeah, is that, that you count that? Oh, t- they're probably really good at walking. Ten as well. I count twenty. <laughs> really I, count, I count twenty. <laughs> yeah. I feel like they're like the greatest walkers of of, of a generation. Mm. Can you imagine that? the jumping power behind that many toes? <laughs> oh, that's the real like a long jumper, but they couldn't do a good run. Up. You could like jump above a building. Run. Twenty toes, not known for their running. I would argue. Um, I would. Can argue. They could climb a tree with their feet. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's a short, let's it's a stumpy stop. foot too. Even, as let's well. just let's move on. It. It's fucking like a good grip. It is. It, We're gonna I, get complaints. Yeah, I feel like it's it's a short <laughs> foot. It's a science. This is I, there's no judgment. This is the fucking fact. This is the at a factual image of a person with twenty toes. Let's break it down. People like, in the comments are gonna go. It's oh, just, I can't believe it. You took the mick out of it. But to be well, fair, you're upset. we're upset. Like, we say now. that we say that all the time. Like people in the comments are going to get. They never do. No, you know what I mean. Like they very do, rarely. Though, to be fair, they don't. These people don't listen. We just to get the that show. Peter Griffin guy who like fucking signs all of these Says comments Roadhouse. off with Roadhouse. Roadhouse yeah. <laughs> uh, why did you? Why <laughs> like, did wait, you Josh, Josh you just already responded, just going, Roadhouse. "What the fuck?" <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's that's fair. Um, we'll give him that one. <laughs> That's a fair response. I feel like he looks at it and he's traumatised and goes, Tyler, why? It's fair. George, on. I want to know. Why? We didn't do it last episode. I'm fucking curious as oh, shit. Oh, God. We were a bit too excited because all of the pillars were back and it's phenomenal. And it's phenomenal that back-to-back episodes, all the four pillars are here. It's, true, it's, it's amazing. Crazy. I'm so glad James has been streaming again and he's slowly uh, you know, feeling a bit better with the meds. Um, we'll get into that in a sec but George I want to know I've been dying to know for the last four <laughs> weeks what's on your YouTube recommended it's my favourite thing to talk about on the show <laughs> and I think it's the people there are a lot of comments there are a lot of comments annoyed there's a lot of comments True, people were complaining they were like where is it <laughs> where was the and, was, and I got annoyed at myself I'm like I can't believe I forgot because it's my favourite segment <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. Okay. Yeah. It's, okay. It's my favorite part of this. What is my uh, recommended has been like preparing different seafood. <laughs> 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 okay. You know what? Now, okay. Like, <laughs> sorry to interrupt, Ethan. Uh, just for those who don't know, the, this segment is George watches just the weirdest fucking shit on YouTube I've discovered. <laughs> just, you know, what are you guys watching? Do you guys have anything weird that cunt pops you recommended? And we realise George is the weirdest cunt in the world. It was frog time. Um, that was the first yeah, one, wasn't it? Frog time. time. <laughs> the bees. Like, oh, man. You, oh, the you were talking about cruise ships and big, oh, yeah. like, ships. The Costa yeah, Concordia. And, like, the history. The the we started Concordia. joking about the Costa Concordia, not realising that people died. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. That was. Oh, that was that's bad. true. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a legit the point. The B videos. Uh, Ethan, what were you, what were you saying? One. So we was talking about preparing seafood. I, I'm so, uh, that's surprisingly quite normal. It's, it's almost like he wants to prepare seafood. Yeah. Have you ever thought about I mean, preparing seafood, normal. George? Is that something you it's want to normal, do? No, because I like, hate fish and everything. It's not like so a George. Thing, are you is watching? Can you imagine George preparing a seafood? <laughs> like he's putting this effort into it. He's you know. I mean, I like really pretty sushi. <laughs> I'd like to think George will, you know, he's getting older. He's going to start doing. He works his way around the kitchen. Like preparing yeah. seafood. Yeah, like preparing but, but what seafood. if he's like, what if what if George his New Year's resolution next year is like he's bought a f- fucking cookbook Scrum or he's got a cooking class. He's like, I want to get a life skill. George doesn't have. I'd be a New very Year's proud of George. Yeah, I'd be on. very proud of George if he was doing cooking classes and he's like, you know what, I want to skill myself. <laughs> now. I'd be very proud. Of him. <laughs> I'd be very proud of him. And I'm not going to let you, James, bully him. Yeah, you can't bully me into it. submission. I'm not going to allow right? this. I'm trying to encourage good oh, lifestyle man. It's just the most where... Tyler thing ever. Though. It's just... It's just it's uh, so... Oh, man. I'll be so proud of him if he was taking <laughs> cooking He started preparing seafood. Learn a I skill. Mean... Learn a hobby. Go learn a language, an instrument. Learn, learn one of those skills. Get your life mate, on track. Upskill <laughs> yourself, mate. I say it all the is time. It, As a man at this time, you got to be a man. you got to be decisive. you got to know what you want. And you gotta, you got to get on with it. I just can't I get over the fact that sometimes Tyler sounds like he's doing an impression of an Australian. Rather than oh, I do, well, I do. I purposely sometimes oh. do my impression of James doing his impression oh of me. Oh, my God. Yeah. And I, but also sometimes I go full Australian. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes James just sounds more like you. <laughs> Listen to the title of this video. <laughs> Extremely go. graphic. How to clean a live, ornate, spiny lobster. A dangerous creature <laughs> that grew too big. <laughs> Please send us the link to that. Okay. Like that. This is our I want to know how to clean on eight lobster, whatever it fucking said. To be fair, I've got a fucking them, nightmare of a Thursday morning some in the of afternoon. Them how the lobster did you get cleaned? F- <laughs> it's unbelievable. How did think, you find this? Uh, just in my recommend. I was watching. Okay, because I've been playing Subnautica here. Yeah. There's a lot of like yeah, 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 ocean related yeah. videos. So I was watching videos about like different types of fish and stuff. And then it was like, do you want to eat them? Do you want to prepare them? <laughs> So I was You're like, well, like, do you want to eat them? <laughs> like, just really suddenly, like, in your, in, on your, over your shoulder, like, whispering to you, just, just like, your mate, this sort of like, 
Yeah. You want to eat them? Yeah. You want to eat them? Now? These are cool, cool fish, but like, do you want to? You want to fucking eat them? Do you want to eat them? <laughs> yeah. Eat like it's cool to learn about the history and like the you know, fuck ancestry is this? of fish, but do you want to eat them? <laughs> you know this is a do? fucking behemoth of a lobster. <clears throat> I know. It's, it's okay, a dangerous. Look at the Final Fantasy bunch. Are we just sort of playing this as? Yeah. What does players is? Yeah. I'm that's a, oh, that's a big boy. Confused. That's a big boy. I'm not sure. It's a big saucy oh, no, lobster. Say, right? Is it alive? Uh, I wasn't sure if it was yeah, just like a It says thing. live in the title and it's moving. Yeah, so. a lot oh of my them god, alive. it's alive. Is he going to cut into it? Yeah. So, but what they'll do is you got to understand what, what a lot of, um, what they do oh with these. Oh my god, um, this is fucking horrible! <laughs> they're really drugged or, or they've been kept Frozen. really cold. So they're yeah. really like not with it. Oh, look like, at his tail. This is still though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're alive, God. but they're totally fucking have no idea what's going on. Yeah, Like, yeah. this is how I've, like, if I've, you know, my uncle's a chef and he's done a lot of this sort of stuff. And I've seen him prepare, like, mud crabs and sand crabs and things like that. And this yeah. is what they're like when you buy fresh crabs. It's actually kind of what mental, the isn't it? Fuck! I, I saw a horrible one, to be fair, where they cut directly through its face. And it was like, you don't need to do that. It's not necessary. No, usually, like, in a crab, they have a little, like, um, oh, it's almost like, like flat thing. thing you open underneath, and you'll just cut directly into. Now that it's humping yeah. like his the fucking counter. Snap, snap. I'm death. just watching it hump his counter. Um, this yeah, it was really like lobster. doing mental shit with its tail. It's, it's like, like fucking. Set, it's a big beast. lobster. It's a big beast. Um, Holy it's a big bad seafood boy. shellfish specifically, I don't feel like is a is a um, staple of the English diet. No, um, no, I can't you say. Know, it I mean, is. I, I have, have you guys ever eaten <laughs> lobster before? No, no, I'm interested in trying crustaceans, though. <laughs> I've, eat, I've, have you not, have you not, I've never lobster. You've eaten crab. Okay. I've not eaten either. Crab's really nice. nice. I'm, I've not either. As he, someone that not. grew up, obviously, one being in Australia, but also specifically in the, the Moreton Bay region, mm. very prominent crustacean uh, area. Yeah. Mud crabs, Moreton Bay bug, um, lobster, all the above to absolutely love myself some some shellfish some seafood some you just dismembered this poor it. lobster and yeah. i'm really it's upset what you gotta do. and it's what you got to do it's how it works it's how t- i mean i mean obviously if you're a vegetarian or a vegan this is probably don't watch not this because the- you're a pussy <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm not, okay, but it's still fucking horrible. He cuts it out. It's not, it's not it enjoyable out. to watch. I feel like if I'm willing to eat a lobster, I've got to be able to sit through this. Yeah. yeah. I, I just can't. If I, if I, and I like a lobster, I'll eat a lobster. I f- fuck with lobster. <laughs> and if I can't watch this, how how can I? How can I justify mm. eating it? If I'm not yeah, it comes across at the very least. It's a bit hypocritical, doesn't it? But I'm not going to eat yeah. a lobster, so I can sit here and say, I don't like this. You know what? But I if might, I ever eat a lobster, I I've got to sit through this beforehand. I'm gonna be honest. Um, I could go fuck up a lobster. Just to, right you know, get my stomach in yeah, the right I could, place. Yeah, I could too. A um, lobster's absolutely tremendous. Absolutely tremendous. I've never tried lobster. I'd like to give it a go. Yeah, nice big <clears> fucking. I want to say, I want to say, seafood's not a big thing in the UK outside of fish and chips. But I don't, mm, I don't want to confirm chips. that because chips, I don't want Toby totally in my DMs to say later what the UK is and uh, telling right? me I'm wrong about that. And actually, everyone eats fucking sushi every day in the UK and I just don't know that yeah. for some reason. Well, it's also like house, you gotta understand, so. you're talking about you're speaking from the U- for the UK, but if you spoke for the people of Northampton, I feel like that's a bit more sensible. The people yeah. of Northampton are, they love a good uh, But, they but also I feel like let's be I've, I've spent I've spent some time in Northampton. I feel like it's all quarter pounders and But I feel like yeah they're not not known for their um outward thinking. The old they're not known um, for thinking vocals. at all. Not, <laughs> not known really for thinking at all. Not known, yeah. not known for knowing things outside. Not known for anything, actually. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Northampton's I would, I would... only known for like people that move here for work, and that's it. We're known for shoes, yeah. though. We made shoes. We have a shoe f- uh, museum. Shoes wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We should have taken time. We need to do a Northampton... Really. We need to do Northampton to do a part two, where we go to the, the places I haven't gone to. We yes. go to Northampton Shoe Museum. Rockingham, Rockingham Castle's, Castle's not in Northampton. Well, it's near enough. I, okay. I feel like I'm trying to go enough. to a I'll fucking take, castle. I'll <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll take yeah, near let's enough. Go to I'll take near enough. We do need to go to another castle, and Ethan needs to come with us. The Bitter Stones part. Yes, two. We, we need do. to go to the Bitter Stones yeah, again and take Ethan, Stones, so yeah. we can all four of us can be at the Bitter Stones. I'm watching yeah. to this, this lobster castle. is well and truly dead by this. I'm point. still watching this video. Yeah, no, so I've got it paused on a frame where he's jammed a knife in its back. Um, and I'm yeah. just staring well, at it. He, he's <laughs> just pulled out the the, sh- the poop tube from the spine. <laughs> uh, a lot of shellfish. You eat, you eat a prawn. You'll, you'll see a little tube down their back spine, and that's pretty much where they shit. Lovely. Oh, shit. Yeah. I, like that. I like nice. I enjoy a good shit. I hope a lobster does yeah. too. 
Yeah. Isn't it so oh, I weird like what that we, I like we how like fucking just this. kill animals and eat them? Isn't it fucking weird? Isn't that yeah. mental? It is like, fu- I think we, we just, just kill each other and eat like first living step. things first and just step. put them in our mouth. Isn't it mental? The, the, the first, so weird. The first, but I like even more crazy <laughs> when you mention it. Because I feel like, I don't think it's that crazy to like kill to survive. No. But then when you're watching this guy dress it up with flowers and gold, that's fucked up. Yeah, you think about that. It's like, look at this beautiful dish. And he literally puts... Fucking gold on it. Yeah. Yeah. Just wow. After like and ripping then, its entrails out and like cutting its tail off and like smacking it about and shit. And then you've got some fucking Karen on the other end of this. Like, this isn't what I ordered. You know what I mean? <laughs> and the disrespect. And the lobster's and they, like up oh, in the bin. The lobster's like. And oh, then they just throw that all out and it I'm died for dead nothing. Me. <laughs> oh man. And it died for nothing. <clears throat> to be fair, this looks fucking delicious now that I'm at like the. Yeah, I'm looking at the end of it. I think the sauce has got some. You know what? I think everything would have been okay if if the man offered the lobster a cig before he killed him. Yeah, just before. Oh, and he's dipping cheeky cig before you chef me up. Please. Oh, he's 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 poaching it. Oh, I love this. (laughs) He's poaching it. What does that mean? Fuck, I'm hungry. My Uh, mouth is. What's that? Why don't you just stick your dick in a dead lobster? What does that mean? (laughs) Poaching. It's like poaching an egg. You're boiling it. Video of a lobster smoking a cigarette. Oh, I'd love to see a video of a lobster. I was wondering how can he poach it. Well, you know what a poached egg is. Yeah, of course. I just thought in this. Wait, hang on. That's an actual video. It's yeah. the same process. I thought you were Lobster talking about him eating it. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I mean, like, he's, like he's actually, has, like, putting it, he's putting it in right. boiling water. Oh, I see. <laughs> to cook it. It's just I see. Chong in on click a grip, that Guys, kid. click on that video that I sent in the chat. <laughs> okay, so we've got a new video. smoking a cigarette. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. See, that's he's a happy picture, that. He's got a beard. That's a small little lobster, He's one of the boys. That's what I'm used to. That's what I think of as a lobster. Oh, he's just smoking a dart. He's just chuffing on that dart. He's With the voice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So is this is this the latest? Like the the preparing seafood? What what's yeah. like? Your, what's the craziest one you've seen? Uh, I mean, he did. He like <coughs> got this massive fish and cut it open and like like fucking scooped its organs out and shit. That was kind of mental. Yeah. Uh, isopod, you know isopods, so those those things that are like basically ocean cockroaches. Hmm. Yeah, like cooking up some of that. I'm not too sure. Sh- isopods. Yeah, isopods? They, they are crustacean. Uh, I S O P O D. And they just look like. Insects. Oh! Oh, yeah, yeah, oh. I know those guys. Yeah, so he cooks a few. Oh, of them I, I know them. I've never eaten one, though. Jesus. Yeah. They look I don't know. You could like, eat those. I guess you could. Yeah. They look like the front cover of. Um, what's that game? Is it it's resistance? the armadillo of the sea. It looks what, like the armadillo what? of the sea. The uh, the creature with the, the with the sig enjoying life. I know it's though. Fallout. They look like the Fallout helmet. That's what they look like. <sighs> there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Especially the this Fallout guy. Helmet. Let me, what the fuck are you? Let me show you this. You know the power armor. Yeah, yeah. Hang on. Let me get. Let me get the one that looks <laughs> really? Like oh my yeah, god. Yeah, that's the exact channel I watched it on as well. Oh no, it's not this one. Hang on. Yuki Yuki te- 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 it's the Fallout 2. It's the Fallout 2. That's what it is. Yeah, That's what yeah. It reminds it's the, me the Enclave Power Armor set. Yeah, the okay. Well, got like those type of eyes. Kind of like that. I've just sent the picture. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of that. Yeah. I don't know why. It yeah, no, that's... Really, you know, I see that, what you mean. That's, that's a rather alarming look. I mean... I mean, yeah, we're, we're going down the seafood rabbit hole now, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, that's that's today. what George's YouTube recommended does to us. Um, it does. Yeah. And I feel like this is why I could never be a vegan, because I just watched that lobster die and got to the end of the video going, I was... His mouth is watering. Like, my mouth was... <laughs> Halfway through the video, he was erect. By yeah, the yeah. end of it, he was just happy oh, that he could... Oh, I was... He'd already cooned. Yeah. I was throbbing. He'd already cooned. <laughs> He's the young throbber. <laughs> yeah, the young throbber was throbbing. <laughs> the young throbber was throbbing. <laughs> he wanted to have a crack at that lobster. This is such yeah. a yeah. strange topic. I want to go at that lobster, mate. I just want to go at the lobster, mate. Let me add it. Let, Let me, me have a bit of lobster, me. Yeah, um, James, what's um, how are you no. feel? Because you were on the last episode, you've been on some new medication. How's it, like what's the, yeah. what's the go? Um, I'm wired that oh way. man, it's been a bit of a <laughs> saga. Um, some might say it's uh, yeah, I've got a lot going on, but um, I'll explain everything in detail once, hopefully, once it's fucking over, if it is. Um, but. In terms of just like you know the issues that have been keeping me from streaming and whatnot, um, you know I'm doing all right. This this medication keeps me sort of doing good enough that I can just sit down and do some streams and whatnot. I'm not like coming back to everything, um, but 
uh, I'm just easing into it and seeing seeing how much I can do. Um, because thankfully it's it's good enough to keep me going, but uh, you know, it's not hundred percent. It's still sometimes I feel like complete shit, and sometimes like you know, it's I'm not I'm not doing doing well. But yeah, but it's a bit of an uh, improvement. But it's so. yeah, it's definitely. <coughs> it means I can actually do shit. Like I've been, I was fucking miserable just doing nothing all day because I just couldn't do anything. Playing all Mass day. Effect all day. Yeah, just playing Mass Effect all day. Fuck. I've, yeah. yeah um, why, why and now that's done. That, it, that um, sounds bad. No, that sounds like a great time. To I do. ended up just <laughs> with nothing. And I just wanted to stream. That was the one thing. I ended up with nothing. I have nothing. I have nothing left. Nothing. Only streams. <laughs> um, but I really wanted to fucking get back to streaming. And just luckily, like, I just, as I was talking to a doctor while I'm waiting to get all this referral sorted out, you know, they were like, we'll try this other medication and we'll see how you get on. And it just, after a few days, it just seemed to, like, really help in, in like, the, a good way, which was which was yeah. good. So, it uh, means mm. I'm, I'm back doing bits here and there. Um, mm. Still not 100% uh, and, and whatnot, but, you know, it's it's better than it was, so that's good. I'm, I'm just glad to be back and around doing things and, yeah. Yeah. and whatnot. Um, it's good to have yeah. you back and hear your voice. It is, yeah. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> good. I'm glad, you, you, I'm glad everyone missed it. It was quite romantic. It was nice to... It was not... Yeah, yeah, it, was it is romantic. A little bit, yeah. It's um, meant to that way. But it was good. It was good the other day. I did a stream um, a couple of days ago. I think it was Monday. I don't remember. I think you've been um, streaming more than I have. I thought it was Friday yesterday, so I don't know what fucking day I was streaming. But I, uh, yeah, everyone. It was. It become. It became the stream about you know reflecting on the community and everything. It was just really fun. Yeah. I had like a couple hundred people there. It was just really nice. Um, yeah. To be just be talking to everyone again. So that's cool. Mm. Um, so yeah, I'm doing all right. All things considered, we'll have to see. It. No one in the chat needs to worry anymore and goes, James, all right? Is he all right? What's going <laughs> He's been on? Drinking his water. It's okay. <clears throat> well, that was weird. That was the, As you said that, that, that I just took a sip of my the water. Time. The yeah. fuck? I thought you could see yeah, me. Was... I was like, well, wait. <laughs> <laughs> well timed. I want well to kill timed, things. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, amazing and and Ethan, what's um how how are you going, man? What's been going on? I'm all right. I'm just sort of chilling. <clears throat> uh, I have a second job now. That's that's new. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. How's, how's the new job? It's all right. I mean, it's still early days, sort of thing. Zero hour contract. I just pick up hours as and when. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, no, it's it's all right. I don't mind um, doing a few hours on the doors, dealing with drunk people coming home <laughs> sleeping. It's yeah. not that bad. It does. It's okay. Um, really, just sort of like a more of a life experience thing than an occupation I see taking yeah. on long term um, yeah. so I might I'll do like a month two maybe three and then be like right okay cool I've done a bit of that and now now I can just step back um, take that experience see what I can do with that mm-hmm. um, and go go from there um, mm. I have a few ideas cooking but nothing nothing concrete yet so I don't know quite what the crack is but there's that that's good um beautiful stuff beyond that mm. it's i've been spending a lot of time being social of late i've been trying to anyhow <clears> i've been <throat> trying to take the pressure off myself to get work done and it's it's definitely had a positive impact in the sense that i don't feel like i'm obligated to make content every, every like every other day or something mm. for the rest of my <clears> life but at the same time, I do want to find like a nice balance between that and consistently posting to some degree. Mm-hmm. And I think mm-hmm. I'm sort of easing into that, and it's, it's going okay. Um, but that's really all there is to that. We love um, to see it. We do love to see that's it. That's good. That's positive. Amazing. We positive stand a growing stuff. king. Yeah. <laughs> I'm you sorry. you got to be decisive. you got to know what you want. <laughs> <laughs> And Ethan does. <laughs> yeah. man, well, There's I mean, man? You're, you're preaching real facts here, James, when you say that. I know you're making fun of me, but it's all true. Spitting spit, spit bars of truth. Everything spitting, you say is a meme. Spitting facts. Spit spit facts. I don't know cheap. why. I don't know why. Hey, man, all I'm saying is I accepted death in myself a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> that is a classic. Fuck? Holy shit. Oh. We were just, I remember when you uh, said it. I think, weren't we just driving into fucking Western Fable or something? Yeah, I was just like, I accepted <laughs> death of myself a long time ago. <laughs> it was a joke. I wasn't being fucking like being. I, I was. It was ironic. Yeah, sure. No, it was. I wasn't was being like though? unironic just in there. Yeah, like, it was ironic, all right, guys. It, it was, it was just, I swear to God. It was just <laughs> yeah, it's the best swear. thing you've ever said. <laughs> It's just such a... <laughs> the best thing I've ever seen. I think it was. I think it's up there. <laughs> it's up there with Corey getting the fuck on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Never said that. And hey, See, man, I've got honest, I'm going to be honest. You, at this point, I don't know. There's that many <laughs> yeah, like things you say that I've said. 
I don't know if I said them or not. I'll be honest. Like, I don't remember saying any of those things, but I trust that you guys are right. But then you say shit like, Corey, get the fuck in the ground and I have big shoes. Never said that. Never have I ever said that. Hey, those man, are I like quotes. purple, man. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Those, are made up, those are made up quotes. Those are made up what quotes. What I love is that Tyler and never said that he had big shoes either. Like, that was never, never a thing. Never. <laughs> <laughs> never said it. It, came, never said it. it came from a streaming Skyrim. Yeah, a Skyrim that. stream. Skyrim stream. It's like four My years. My fucking oh, days. Most yeah, Tyler quotes really that are memorable and things that Tyler has never said. What? What was uh, the yeah, other that's one? That's true. There was another that's, one that we came up with on the on the remind streams because it was Tyler with the uh, with the beanie on. Oh, be- the beanie boy Tyler. What was the? <laughs> yeah. With the beanie. When have I ever worn a beanie? I know it's a Photoshop I made years ago. Oh yeah, with your head. You wearing a beanie? Yeah, it's, beanie my, yeah, your it's hair. my head. Yeah. I remember that. I remember that Photoshop. Yeah. Beanie yeah. boy Tyler. I don't um, remember what the meme was. I don't remember either. We'll I just remember Be- Beanie Boy Tyler was the meme, but did he say it like that? Like he used to just I'm say bean- it. I'm Beanie Boy. <laughs> hey know. guys, I'm just wearing wearing my beanie. Just Beanie Boy Tyler. Look, if I wanted to wear a beanie, I'd go outside and I'd go wear a beanie. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I fucking love that meme. So That's right. so fucking funny. Hey man, you have <laughs> if I wanted to if I wanted to make a podcast, I'd fucking go outside and make a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Classic Tyler gonna... touch grass meme. Oh yeah. man, <laughs> it is. It's like the touch grass meme, but it's Tyler. That's it's Tyler's version of it. Anything that you want to do, class. just I, if I wanted to do it, I would do it. I get some mates outside. and I go outside and do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's funny. Uh, I enjoy that a lot. I thoroughly enjoy that. Oh, it's just so a, it's just good. a cracking good time if you ask me it's um <laughs> what what other things are going on that i expect james has not paid any attention to george would have no idea it's happening ethan yeah. might have watched something is we've got the olympic games going uh, yeah, yeah that's oh, true oh i did um, see i saw they had the, the kingdom clip hearts because they played all the all the jrpg music in it yeah Japan did. amazing yeah that's cool they did yeah but but also you've got <laughs> a bunch of spectacular you know the greatest athletes oh, i don't care about that shit for great Maybe. for greatness and glory for 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 country um, well, I, I, I expect that you wouldn't, um, because the desperation of of Great Britain to try to win medals is hilarious. Yeah, we used to be an good. absolute stitch up. Uh, well, it's not just used to be good. Hey, could you imagine England and Scotland playing football on the same team? No, you guys hate each other when you play each other. Yeah, you that's hate true. each other. But you're <laughs> telling me for the Olympics, you cunts are like, let's all team up and still Britain, be shit. And Australia has 25 million people in it, and we're beating you. We're fifth in medal tally. Yeah, come on. A bunch of f- they have much less people in the Olympics. They've only got 25 million people. We have 40 <laughs> we million. Million. We're still Olymp- Olympic people. <laughs> 40 million. We have, the UK we have like a country of 25 million, million people. People in the Olympics. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine What's the great big population? Imagine like a. Um, like it was like sixty six million. Some, some, some three times the, the population. <laughs> Imagine everyone was forced into the being Olympics. in the Olympics. It was like something you had to do. So like every I four think years, we should revoke you the were status just, of everyone was when it comes to being human the beings, and then it would even out. Oh, uh, I mean, if they're forced into drugs from a young age, you're not don't a give fucking a, human being. Don't give a anymore. fuck. They're not going to compete, are they? <laughs> yeah, That's no. True. You can't compete at Olympics. You can't whereas Aust- at Olympic level. Whereas I can't Olympic imagine Olympic. Australia has an- anywhere near as many waved dons getting about because they're they're just no. different. They're just sort of I mean, they walk about. In they're, 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 in, they're differently active, is what they are, and they just sort of like show well, up and <clears throat> they smash. Well, we've got we've got our our girls are absolutely fucking tearing it up in the swimming pool at the moment, winning gold medals left, right, and center. Yeah, um, that one that one went um, fuck yeah. Did and, you see that um, in the interview? Yeah, Someone yeah, love like, it. Oh, you love to see you it. You, what we're, what we're like, doing, we're going yeah. viral. One of the coaches going absolutely mental and humping a glass screen. Um, <laughs> one of the Aussies going, going viral. I don't think you should be allowed in, in the Olympics. <laughs> what the fuck? You know what? These <laughs> you sound like crack cunts is what you sound like. Uh, just pa- oh, I'm sorry, sport? we're passionate about glory for the country. You're passionate about glory for Australia. <laughs> prison. We're passionate about absolute glory. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you no, should have like, fucking spiders. No, 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 bleep that, Josh. Bleep that. You've got to bleep what he just said. I haven't, I haven't heard that in so long. <laughs> no, no. I won't. I won't accept that. That is a bleep moment. What I don't did care. He say? Oh my god, that that brought back flooding emotions. Too many fucking awful memories. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, unbelievable. But I'm just, I'm just, I just don't understand. Can you guys, can someone justify why England are like we have to team up with Scotland and Wales? Because there's not enough the Olympians. There's not enough people. Because we're. 
What do you mean there's not enough? There's 66 million of you. Mm. That's three times more than my country. They're just That's not, not enough. Vibing. We need more. We need more people in the end. We might have we're, to we're, even we're, get, get the Republic of Ireland Most of the country in. is too busy down on the boozer. They've been shut and for Northern months. Ireland. Get They're getting the pill. It's, it's fucking unbelievable. Cool it's skating. Disgrace. And also, well. Russia, who was banned from the Olympics for doping, there's the Russian Olympic Committee that has a team. So it's just Russia, and they're coming fourth on the medal tally. What's going on? It's a fucking shit show. I think the reason G- uh, GB is like its own thing is because we have one single government, don't we? Great no, I, don't, I actually don't know what the what the reason is why it's like that. And then with football, everything's divided into countries, and the same with rugby and like cricket and shit. You're a different country. You're a different country. Mm. Yeah, that's yeah. true. But I don't Fred understand Britain why is... it's one one <clears throat> like under under the team. Great Britain's a landmass. The United Kingdom's a kingdom. England's a country. Yeah. You know? It's nuts. Yeah, so I don't you're know. England in the Olympics. You're not yeah, Great Britain. That's a, Great Britain is a landmass. It's not a fucking country. Look, we, we pick represent. and choose when it's a landmass and when it's yeah, a landmass. No, uh, no, that's, that's what I'm saying. It's bullshit, that's, but it doesn't matter. We're the still queen we're still rules over fucking... all. God save her. God save and the queen. Rules she decides over these the rules, all right? Maybe the queen should do the swimming. Then we'd be all right. That'd be sick. Lizzie That'd can be shut the fuck up. Just big Liz jumping in the pool and smoking all these athletes going, Come on, boys. You're making me look shit. <laughs> oh man. It's just it's just a disgrace. We're still tow- toweling you up and that's fine. Um toweling you, you up. Know, you know. <laughs> hey me. Doing well in the tennis got you fucking up, Ash <laughs> Australian <laughs> hero <laughs> Ash Barty who just won Wimbledon. She's also ripping and tearing in the Olympics. Rip and tear. But have but have Doom they Slayer. defeated Sephiroth in the final stage of the Hades Here, Cup? Yeah, that's on. the question. Yeah. Come on. This just the, Oh my god. The this uncultured again. It's just unbelievable. I come on the show talking about glory and country <laughs> <laughs> no bleep that too Josh <laughs> bleep that <laughs> bleep you're going to have to say it like, um, mid sentence so we can't bleep it it's like when someone's mid sentence just bring it out randomly yeah. and you can't bleep if you want to if you want to like get me to shut up instead of being like Tyler shut the fuck up just say things like that and I'm like bleep it I'll bleep it Josh <laughs> that that's what you catch always for you from just like wait Tyler shut up <laughs> I was so thrown off. <laughs> I was doing an intro, and then and and he goes, Tyler, Tyler, shut up. And I was like, so thrown off. I was like, what? Oh yeah, no, I do remember. I do remember that. Oh god, back in the day when we used to do every ten episodes, we'd do a four pillars episode. Those were the good days. Now we do a podcast. Now we do a good podcast. A really good show. These are also the days. Show. I like James these would well. know he doesn't show up. That's true. But we do a great show. Here. I'm, you know, I'm, I've I've been, I'm the only one. I've been knows lucky. What the show is like, all right. I don't have to do these podcasts now. I'm back and I've got to do a fucking podcast. <laughs> People are going to start <laughs> yeah. inviting me on as guests. I'm going to get Eddie in my DM saying, "Hey, you want to talk about WandaVision? No, you want to talk Eddie. About Sony. I don't want to talk to you about anything. I don't want to <laughs> be on any podcast. <laughs> I don't want to be here. Let us not burn our bridges with the conversations, fellas. Yeah, because they might get famous, and then we oh, they might get joking. famous, and then we can't I'm use them. Look, <laughs> as if he's actually talking shit about them. I'm, I'm wearing joking. conversation shirt. They're friends. <laughs> yeah, no, it's fair enough. Oh my god. Regardless, um, are we moving on now? Have we had have have we had enough uh, dicking no, around? <laughs> Have we had enough dicking around? I think that was, yeah, I think that was a really poor choice of words, actually, considering. Re- but, oh, oh, God. Sh- yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's a fair point. I mean, oh, um, my it, God, it yeah. is a phrase, isn't it? Dicking around? It is, is that yeah. not it a is phrase? phrase. Yeah, dicking phrase, around. Yeah. Where you get your yeah, cock dick, out. Yeah, dicking around. I mean, oh, it could mean anything. It doesn't have to mean necessarily yeah, well, penis. You call it short. About, r- um, dick is, is short for, for ri- you know, Richard. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So well, let's talk about for... Ubisoft's dicking around, shall we? Yeah, <coughs> yeah let's talk oh, about And Activision. Okay. Right maybe yeah. bleep that as well, actually. Maybe just cut yeah, that, maybe, actually. Josh, maybe cut that bit. You know what? Just <coughs> don't even put this out, Josh. Just, just, <laughs> just delete it. Put it in the fucking recycling <laughs> bin. I'm done. Yeah. You know what? We gave it a shot. We it, have, if we, anything, we that was a fairly good segue, and it just, I, don't, I don't think it's going to be an issue somehow. No, I don't. I don't know. We're joking. We're mucking around. Yeah, it's um, We're dicking around. We're dicking around. We are doing um, We're not going to take this seriously, are we? Yeah. Four, oh, okay. 40 minutes. Let's take it like, done. can we take like two minutes to just like settle into this? Can we have a moment of silence? <laughs> moment I, mean, of I silence. don't really know what's going on regarding all of it because I haven't read into it yet. So you guys are going to have to take the helm a little bit. I thought bit. you were making a video okay. on it. I am making a video, but I'm also making, making a, a video, but... video as well. So it's cool, sort of. You're making a what? <clears throat> a video. <clears throat> 
bit of content. Yeah, right. Bit of content. I don't know if you did that. That was so weird. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah. So we do have the bits. I guess let me throw the articles in the in the chat here. Yeah, yeah I don't. I because I I I've been following bits, but I'm certainly Messi not. Stall mm, reckoning. There's that one. Atten. So are we gonna? Where are we gonna start? Are we gonna start with? <coughs> are we gonna start with this week? With we're um, gonna start with uh, Activision Blizzard, or are we gonna start with, and well, then lead to what that, Ubisoft's done? Or? Before that was the was the was the Singapore was the Singapore article. And this is a big fucking article, so we don't, we don't need to go in detail. I know me and Ethan have done it a couple times now. Yeah, so I don't think we need to go in full detail because it's a big fucking article. But I, I guess we can yeah. get the gist across. Um, for you know anyone that's <coughs> the first not, paragraph really sums it up. It does. It, yeah. I'll read it to you because it genuinely yeah, just it. sums up the entire fucking article. <laughs> and, you know, Ubisoft Singapore in general. Ubisoft Singapore has always been kind of known internally to be one of the worst Ubisoft studios in terms of culture, said one former developer at the publisher of Assassin's Creed and Far Cry. People would visit from other studios and be like, what the fuck is wrong here? And yeah, when all those other studios also are up to the brim with their own issues... That tells you a lot about Ubisoft Singapore, doesn't it? Yeah, it's in a bit of a state. Yeah, it does, so it's, yeah. it's in a bit of a diabolical state, that kid. Mm, mm. Um, so there you go. That's the opening paragraph of this entire article. <laughs> yeah. And the rest is just... Oh, it's, there's some stuff in there that, that, that is, that is kind of rough. You it's know not I mean? good. And it's I do good. have some notes, because when I was making my video, I like bullet-pointed the, the parts that I thought were relevant. So I can just grab that real quick. Yeah, that would yeah. be useful. Um, Saves me having to trawl through this I'm article at, uh, for the third but time. Yeah, yeah, so essentially they talk about this, this bit where they discuss the people at Singapore. So what <coughs> happened was, to break down you know, where the studio came from, Ubisoft sort of started the studio and then agreement with the, the government in Singapore that um, they would get money from the government in exchange for kick-starting this they called it in the article, I think, a uh, game dev revolution or whatever in Singapore. So Ubisoft would come over. It would be a Ubisoft studio run by, you know, French people, Canadians. Mm -hmm. But eventually it would transition over and they would train up these people from Singapore, the locals, who would then be able to take over the studio and it would just create, you know, lots of game dev opportunities in Singapore. There'd be a lot, you know, it would become a thing in that country. Okay. However, what happened was <coughs> that didn't happen. It didn't change over and people from Singapore weren't allowed really to progress very far in the company at all. They were, they were held back and the people at the top remain uh, French Canadians, you know, to this day. Um, mm -hmm. And a lot of like there's the description they used is that it could feel like a colonial outpost, um, and that's due to a couple of reasons. One, because the leadership was, and and you know I believe still is um, yeah, French, French and, Donnies, yeah. And you know there was this, there was this, um, there was I mean they've they've documented this pay disparity between um, you know people that were French and people that were. Um, from Singapore, and it, it 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 comes down to like HR were justifying it by saying, well, it depends on the different you know standards standards of living. You know, French people are used to this, and this is how they live, and this is how people from Singapore live, and they don't they usually live with their parents for a bit longer, and it's like it's not like, really relevant though, is it's it? It's not relevant. It's not relevant. And if we are going to get yeah, into that, what reason do you think that is? It's probably due <coughs> to the fact that maybe the way that they're paid is slightly less, and maybe that's why they they have they are not necessarily choosing to but are, are maybe forced to, in certain situations, remain with their parents for longer than they would like to. Yep. It's not really relevant at all, though, because Ubisoft should be paying everybody the equally same. for the same work. It's kind of fucked. Um, and obviously, yeah, you've got HR, uh, you know, brushing over that. Classic. Um, Classic Ubisoft Trying HR. to cover it up, trying to keep things, you know, from, from boiling over and whatever. And it's just this... The studio just has this issue, or just with... Um, you've got the the dude that was at the top that was um, promoted only I think it was relatively recently. I mean he's not he's not there anymore, but I think it was like within the last couple of years was promoted to like the head of studio. Um, bloody what's his name? I've got Cockface Recor. Yeah, Recor. That's mm. the guy. Cockface um, Recor. Fucking. And hell. he's he's <laughs> just like with. he would bully people. He would put people down. He will constantly tell people that they're easily replaceable. Um, there's like reports of him, uh, you know, uh, slamming his fists on the table, throwing stuff across offices when someone tried to, you know, make a lighthearted joke or speak up, um, things like that. And on top of that, you know, sexual harassment, you know, you, you just 
you know, getting just inappropriate with female colleagues, making inappropriate comments about what they should or shouldn't be wearing. Um, one one of them one of the times was like he tried to get someone to kiss him and like made a big deal over it and it was fucking weird. Why what? Um, it's yeah. yeah what's what's that story? Well, they were at this so they were at this Ubisoft party or whatever, um, and the, this fem- the female colleague that that, t- that discusses it in the article was um. Mm. She, she, he was like there at the bar and they were sitting next to each other she was like waiting for her drinks or whatever yeah. and he was there yeah. and he was like uh, like he was basically he was trying to get her to kiss him and she was like she tried to laugh it off and like said like no or whatever and he like made a big deal of it he like the, the, the article says something like he threw his hands up in the air and said oh but my world would be shattered if you kiss me or something like that what um, and eventually her friends managed to get her away from the <clears> situation but um, Still a bit fucking weird though. Yeah, it's incredibly strange. Um, and Why? There's you know, there's just so many these so many instances, so many quotes from these people talking about you know how it made them feel. And one one of the one of the one of the key points that I thought applied to other Ubisoft studios and makes a lot of sense. And it, it's one of like the changes they've made. You've got here. It says um, a quote saying, "The training couldn't change a culture that's so ingrained with misogyny that every time someone comes out of their training, they just make fun of it." Um, and that, uh, to me, feels like a quote that applies to everywhere at Ubisoft, because you know, mm-hmm. a lot of people have said the the training courses they were put on after all this came out originally weren't anything, and a lot of people just didn't take it seriously. And you've got these quotes <laughs> of like they would be exaggerating it, like. They would come out and be like, "Oh, you complimenting my hair? That's sexual harassment!" Like as if that was the message that they were trying to get across, just completely dismissing the whole thing. Like fourteen-year-olds um, leaving in a school. Yeah. that's like people in the comments section. About what is it about the video game industry that this is so fucking clearly well, it's in all prevalent? Industry, not just it? within one company, but it's but it's not though, man. Like I've worked in multiple industries. I've worked for massive companies, bro, and the company I work for now huge. The company I used to work for internationally massive amazing cultures literally amazing cultures i mean i think Un- unbelievably I say, like healthy amazing cultures i mean I it's, it's the entertainment industry i think it's, it's yeah is it's it the entertain is it entertainment is that what you I think it is i think it is because i mean hollywood's yeah. not you know a perfect place and now gaming's getting massive you know the music industry's full of it as well now gaming's becoming you know on the same level as those it's just getting worse and worse because people just i don't know i feel like they see these creative industries and they want to use it you know to get what they want and it's just it leads to a bunch of people being in power that don't give a shit about those below them and i think it's i think it's the conflict <coughs> of like w- what you're in it for as well because when some people are in this industry and creative industries because they they are creative and they have a passion for it yeah and others are not um and they see it as an easy way to exercise a power that they want because they can hold that over or celebrity people or fame. that are in this for yeah exactly and people are in this for the passion like they want to do well they want to get they want to be able to put their products out they want to do this they want to do that and mm. you've got these people that that don't give a shit about that they just they just care about the power they get from it and i think there's this yeah. dynamic that's enabled by the two interests that go into it yeah. whereas in another in another company or in another industry everyone there just sees it as a job mm. everyone there is on the same page and it's not perfect in every industry like obviously it's not exclusive to the entertainment industry but i do feel that it comes from that idea that like you know you see you know actresses getting exploited by directors and things like that and yeah yeah it's like yeah. you want you want to be an actress like you want to do this because you have a passion for acting and you want to do this but the, you know you've got these particular directors some people that don't give a shit about that you know and that it just allows yeah. them they can exploit that in somebody they can exploit somebody's passion for something they love mm-hmm. to get what they want because they don't care they don't have the passion for it yeah um and yeah. i think that i think there's there's an element of that in the creative industry yeah yeah maybe and maybe i'm naive and maybe i haven't seen it but like from and who i surround myself with aren't these sorts of people no so no. I, I don't know but it's certainly hope- from my, all my experiences in my industries that i've worked in which aren't entertainment video games or anything mm-hmm. i haven't dealt with that maybe it's an australian thing too but then again i don't sexual harassment is not is like n- not extinct here it's fucking here you know what mm-hmm. i mean I think yeah. it's everywhere it's, it's no doubt about it i think as so, well it would be difficult i think being male it's probably very difficult or easy to miss um, yeah yeah, yeah especially minor yeah probably things, minor probably too. like women probably. would pick up on yeah, those sure. a lot like you know simple things like someone saying something a little bit out of line or 
you know their body language mm. towards you like there's certain things like that those are minor oh, uh, things there's, there's things that, but, for sure there's for sure things that I, I've, I've seen or heard that I don't like it's not like sexual harassment that I've seen personally yeah. but th- certainly things like belittling um, someone's opinion because they're a female I've seen mm-hmm. that yeah I've, like mm, maybe not seen <clears> it <throat> certainly heard about it like certainly heard about it yeah. in my like in my time in different jobs and stuff and it could be as simple as like oh we, we weren't asked for your opinion it's like what the fuck you know mm. what i mean mm. like there's there's definitely some things i've seen favoritisms stuff like that in 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 places in the in the many jobs i've had um not everywhere but some places um but you know it, it's certainly fucking mm. exists everywhere there's no mm. doubt about it um and and you're right james like I, i'm sure that i miss this things i just wouldn't know or wouldn't see um, yeah. Even even when I'm trying, you know what I mean. Like I don't think I'm like trying to ignore it. You know what I mean. If I saw something, I would say something. Mm-hmm. I would like to think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. On the uh, topic of the sexual harassment as well, there was just another in this article another instance that uh, someone recalled where they went. They were going into an elevator or whatever, and out of nowhere, that this guy that was like in the elevator with them just started rubbing her shoulders. And she was like, can you stop? And then he just kept following her back to her desk. Um, and, you know, she was. She said, like, she was trying to text her boyfriend at the time. Um, and he was just like, oh, who are you texting? Who's more important than me? Yeah, um, I read that. And that yeah. was something Whoa. that someone had to Holy deal with. Holy fuck! Um, which is to wild. the desk and, where there's and, like people around. Yeah, like, fo- yeah, just goes, yeah, following just... her back through the office. And, and, and HR said um, that that she was like you know oh she was probably just mistaken it was like a it was it was like a language barrier like you know ha, they didn't no. understand and i don't see how that's even relevant anyway no. it's like in any company I'm one employee for, wasn't like, comfortable you're out, the door. It, so, you're out yeah. the door in that incident that incident is the end it's your first and final warning yeah it's ridiculous you know? and and she like appealed that decision with hr or like whatever how like eventually like i think she left holy um, fuck but it's it's fucked and a lot of people said like um it like you know when you're at this company like you have to pretend to be okay with everything otherwise you're going to be with like rick or at the top when he was there he would just decide like you weren't getting any promotions or you know this this thing would happen to you or they just he just make your life more difficult yeah i'm reading here had any sense of like individuality or trying to speak out and you couldn't on these you know on different projects you weren't and you this weren't is able singapore to, we're talking felt, about yeah yeah, singapore, yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah get on the wrong side of hughes and you'll be disappeared Apparently, yeah, that's, that's his record. second name, isn't it? And they also record, referred yeah. to like yeah. Hugh, Hugh, Hugh's record. Yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah. his first. They also, ref- the, the, I think, it, I think they started referring to Ubisoft Singapore. Well, Ubisoft in Ubisoft Singapore, especially as like the French mafia, yeah. as well. So yeah, it's definitely like a, there was like a French ceiling, as where you know if you didn't yeah, really yeah. understand French, um, you, you, your progress within that company and environment would would be limited because while the the official language of the studio floor would be english often conversations would trail off into french and uh side conversations would go there as well so for those who don't speak french that that could have been a huge barrier um with regards to collaboration and stuff like that and so and so and, and so by the look by the sounds of it and there's definitely there's definitely some some form of French ceiling going on there. Obviously, mm. could be perceptions, but it doesn't seem that poorly founded because even now it's run by a French Canadian fellow. I think. I think mm. it's a Canadian. And we talk a lot about HR as well, and I don't know these people that are in all these fucking HR positions, but I don't want to throw them all under the bus. In, no. in saying, <clears> I'm, <throat> I'm sure some of them are fucked, but I'm sure some of them think about this as well. Like, let's say they're not pieces of shit and they're scared as fuck about losing their job. Like, they hear that complaint, and they're like, that's fucked. And they're going to say something, and their bosses, or the top dogs, are like, no. If you want to, like, Make press this, then you're going to. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I can't dismiss that from. being fucking Part the, the problem, hardest yeah. thing ever. Where you're like, oh, if I lose this job, what if I don't get another job? What if I can't pay my rent or my mortgage? Like, yeah. If I've got kids, you know what I mean? So I don't want to just dismiss I, that You can't either. dismiss the difficulty of it. Of the of the in between, but there's definitely a I think there's definitely a fundamental flaw with a lot of HR departments when it comes to who they actually answer to. Um, yeah, sure. that yeah. prevents yeah. them from functioning 
in a way that that protects the best interests of everyone at the company rather than just the top dogs. Um, yes. That's definitely the case when, when um, to some extent, with Ubisoft just looking at this stuff. It's got to be partially the case with Activision as well and the stuff that's going on over there. And I'm sure those aren't the only two companies where this sort of... There's this sort of... Almost like just like a catch with HR. Where it's like, well, they're kind of almost redundant when it comes to looking after the 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 individuals on the floor in the sense that mm. they're, they're just not able to because they're in this they're, they're in they're between a rock and a hard place maybe and the higher ups of the company may not may want them to just you know protect the interests of the company over the, the interests of everybody you know and it's just it seems it just seems so rough that that's how a HR department seems to function a lot, um, yeah. mm. and like I, yeah I've, you know I I've got no doubts this this extends to other industries as well because I've got a mate who had a bit of a run in with um, somebody at his workplace and he went to HR about it and basically they came back and said they're not going to do anything about it and something and from what I was told it did seem like a proper you know run of the mill case of workplace bullying. And so this was nothing to do with the games industry. Um, mm. I won't go into too much detail, but when I heard it, I wasn't surprised um, because in a lot of instances, the HR will often be um, either you know, you know stuck between a rock and a hard place when it comes to dealing with and navigating around the higher ups in a company, and in some cases that they're, they're familiar. You know, in some cases they're perhaps too familiar with their um, with their superiors in the sense that there is a, maybe there's maybe there's a preference in how they want that to go that reflects best on personal stuff as well and and that is something I believe I read in one article about Activision too is that a lot of HR would be quite close with um, the higher ups within the company and while that isn't inherently a problem for that job to function without without bias or restriction it it just i don't see a world in which hr in its current state actually does much good is my point yeah yeah it seems to benefit the company rather it's than almost the people designed it. to do that if, if yeah. it's not done yeah. right you know if, if it's I done right like, i see what you're saying ethan this 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 yeah hr it, should it not be, be reporting like to these pete these like they shouldn't be reporting or or be managed by the people at the top of the company really i feel if hr is ever going to work ever going to function in a way that makes sense either you have to have people that are completely you know that are that want the best for people at the top or yeah. you have to have people that are not part of the company like yeah i just don't understand how hr could function in a way that that is in-house yeah, it just doesn't. But then make again, that's what they, that's what a lot of companies yeah. do. Is to yeah, I've, I've, seen, I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it in house. I've seen it in house. You know, if, on, in many instances, um, it's always worked. From from well, fuck. You know what I mean? Like always worked. But like in the sense of like in general, in terms of a culture, it's worked. But then again, I've, I'm lucky to say that the big bosses and all the companies I've worked for that I know of or have like knew well were really good people that actually gave a fuck. And we're mostly yeah, women as well, to be yeah. fair. Like, as in in a lot of cases. Um, yeah. Well, in so, this instance, obviously, it's just not going to work. Certainly not. Mm. Certainly. Uh, well, yeah. certainly not women in this case that are in charge. No. Um, so, I won't, yeah, well, I think it's fair to not necessarily pin it on the individuals who are stuck in that awkward position with HR. That's, But, but that's is the point I wanted to make. I understand what you're saying. It's but, great excuse me it's a great point i just want to i just didn't want to like be like fuck these hr people like no maybe, yeah, maybe no. they are fucked maybe they don't know what's going on but maybe they're stuck between a rock and a hard place too and they're as uh, in some ways a victim as well of the system yeah well hr is the problem not necessarily the people in it um because we don't yes, know the indi- don't not know. the individuals we don't know we don't but, know we don't know but, um, yeah, the hr system's definitely it, an issue at Ubisoft. was there anything else in that article I mean, there was a loads of big articles. Yeah, it's there's massive, I mean, there's a yeah, lot. It's I've a big article. The, all the articles will be linked in the description to go mm. read. It's genuine. Obviously, unf- this is the thing. Here's the thing. I'm I'm shocked, appalled, not surprised, and that's so the, fucked to say. Yeah, I think I think I'd take yeah. a similar stance. I'm not surprised um, that there's there's more to co- there's more that's come out of Ubisoft, and I'm sure there's probably at some point going to be more to come because. 
especially after the CEO of Ubisoft gave himself a big ass bonus. You've for got all the to understand when it comes made, to yeah, what in house shit, fucking cunt. shit. When it comes oh, to Eve Gimo, that piece of shit. When it, if I ever saw that motherfucker on man. the street, holy oh, okay. fuck! Imagine Tyler being the shit. Out all of I'm him. saying is, when it comes to in house stuff. We'll only ever see the tip of the iceberg, you know. So. That small little French fuck. It's true. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he is... Fair enough. Eve is an issue. And I mean, like, people... Like, obviously, people are going to always say, like, well, he's never going to leave, so I don't know what you're complaining about. But I don't see how those two things are even... Just like, the defeatist, to like, like... He answers to a board of investors. It's a publicly traded company. Yeah, it's not really the point. Like, do we, if the do stocks go low... A difference? It's not really yeah. relevant. It's, like, imagine if people said, try. like, oh, well, well Hitler's never going to not be the leader of the Nazis, so... Why are you complaining? Like, what, I'm still going to complain about Hitler. Mm -hmm. I, like, what do you mean? Like, <laughs> he might not ever give up being the leader of the Nazis, but like, I stop complaining. I about still, it. I still am going to complain about him. What do you mean? Yeah. Like, you know, that's not me. Also, for anyone you know that doesn't have a brain, that's not me saying Ubisoft are literally the Nazis. For fuck's sake. People um, will definitely just, uh, make that. That's that just an analogy. I've got to cover your bases, otherwise people show up and they just I'm, say dumb oh shit. Well, people I mean, you got to understand, to it's stupid. a publicly traded company, and at the start of the year, we're talking January, Ubisoft was trading for $87.20, Euros, um, and that's, that's in Euros, I'm saying. Um, mm -hmm. and, uh, and this is through... Um, and, and now they're trading at $53.88. Their stocks are dropping. Oh, yeah, I'm looking. Hard. There they are. Um, and this is what I'm talking about. When you're talking Ooh. about publicly traded companies, there's answers that are in the app. And, and you can look at dates and, and certain dates when articles dropped. What, did, what dropped on the 13th of May? Was that was that when it was the articles came out that nothing had changed? Because their their stocks dropped from 60, $61 to forty to 54 in a day. It might like, we're talking been. serious money. And this, is, this is what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen. Money fucking talks. When you've got, you, when you've got investors, you've got people that own millions of dollars in shares. And Yves Guillemot himself owns a huge... He well, he only gross. cares about money. Like, he, let's be he, honest. All he cares about is money. And when, and when in the start of the year, they're trading at $87. And today, they're trading at 53 That's $30. That's a fucking massive 30-plus mm. percent drop in your stock price. Like, that's... We're talking serious answers that investors are going to want. They're like, why the fuck is my investment worth fuck all? right now <laughs> when six months ago it was worth 35% more than that we want and that pressure from investors the reason they were releasing we're, we're talking five years ago ten years ago and they're releasing Assassin's Creed games every fucking year and we're like why the fuck why are they rushing out Unity because they want cash back results so that on their quarterly uh, their quarterly reports or their half yearly finance reports that they give and this is what big companies do and, and at the moment it's fucking reporting season right now these big companies Microsoft, Google they're, Facebook they're doing their half yearly reports that this is the time that these things come out and what you'll see is stocks for the companies like this drop even further especially if there's estimates that their returns aren't going to be good what's Ubisoft released recently fuck all like th their stocks are going to drop even more through that period because people are going to try to sell off those sorts of stocks right before and there might be a little trickle back up if their returns aren't too bad but I'd suspect Ubisoft have done two fifths of fuck all in the last six months uh, <laughs> and that's why their stock prices are dropping down plus terrible press and eventually like I was saying the reason these games are rushed out and things like Unity are rushed out is because they want to be able to say in a half yearly report they made X amount of money because they released a big game if they don't release a big game their returns are bad and then when they come back with their reports it makes their company and stock look bad and their stock prices drop that's how these reports work that's why it matters for games to come out in certain periods it's not yeah, yeah. just about the fact that our oh, game needs to be ready or whatever <clears throat> or why not wait what does it matter you've got pressure from investors from people that are involved that don't literally have never played a game in their life couldn't give a fuck about your video games couldn't give a fuck if you're entertained couldn't give a fuck about workplace culture they care about what other what are the half yearly results what's the stock price am i adding am i holding am i selling what the fuck am i doing with these stocks that's all they care about they're just traders they're just stock traders you know what Ooh. i mean mm. and <laughs> it's just fucking but Ubisoft wild have always been slaves to that the, they? The, and they've been and they've been a slave to that and it's been a fucking detriment as a publicly traded entity a lot of these big publicly traded companies are and it's why the smaller companies that are like, like you look at Sony, the first party's like, yes, Sony's public traded, 
but the individual game companies that work for them are not, so it's a different sort of pressure. Mm. It's it's not less, but it's different. Yeah. Whereas Ubisoft are like they're 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 in their own backyard with it all. And that's why you're looking at games getting rushed out. But it's also why money talks in the sense of if you're giving them negative press, if they're looking bad and we're talking about it, hold Ubisoft accountable, hold Ubisoft accountable. In the last six months, their stocks dropped 35 plus percent. It's not an accident. You think it's to do with video game results? It is partly because they've done fuck all. <laughs> but you can pinpoint dates here. I'd be willing to hazard to guess 13th of May or the 12th of May, around that period of time where stocks dropped almost 10 fucking euros was when articles came out. Yep. And you're telling me our voice doesn't matter. That's yeah. fucking money. Bro. That's the thing. A lot That's of people money. do like to tell you that, you know, why are you even talking about this in the first place? Because it doesn't do anything. It's like it does. It, eventually, if everyone talks about it enough and we don't let it go... It's something's got to happen. Something's got to happen. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. But <laughs> this is but this is what I'm saying. Like, and we're just talking year to date. If you look, like, if you look back further, you go five years. Like, they've obviously in the last five years gone up, and you can see they go up during certain periods, like big games. Their stock prices in what July 2018. What was that? The announcement of Odyssey after Origins, or yeah. like, probably that was probably like half year reports or whatever the fuck. It probably would have been actually around this time. We're talking re- reporting season at the moment. Mm-hmm. Like, come up with good results post Origins and DLC. Their stock price is worth 102 euros. You know what I mean? Like, that's that's big. That's the highest it's been in the last five years. Yeah, it's now worth half that. It's now worth half that. God damn. Um. So, ladies and gentlemen, money talks, and I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. It does, especially with the company like Ubisoft. But but here's the other problem. If they release a game and you motherfuckers all buy it, their stock prices go up. Yep. Their stock prices will go up. It's not just about the money they're going to make from a game. Their investors will not put pressure on them to do anything. Because they're like, well, your fucking stocks went up. It's now worth, it's now trading at $70. Yeah, so and that'll you know, be like, well, the problem's up. gone now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, or they they come back with their uh, their half yearly report in February or or in or in July August, and it's fucking oh we've made record sales, bang, stock prices are up. Yeah, it's like and who you cares? Look at, well, yeah. well, let's yeah, well, let's look around February. Their stock prices were good, eighty four dollars, and dropped right around February, which is when they would have reported post Valhalla mm-hmm. which apparently were record sales if they were record sales I don't know why they dropped 15 fucking euros within a month but then obviously you see I'd, I'd guess different articles coming out what article came out on the 14th of May I want to know I would. I yeah, literally want to know the, I want to prove my point art- that, that article I'm that ranting came out about that stocks there's been no changes gentlemen. was the 18th of May so a couple of days May. after there was like a, interesting um, but there could have been inter- they could have known have internally that it was coming so you never know there Let's could have, have been some way it could have got mm. Mm. yeah it's tough it's tough but it wasn't it wasn't the public mm. it wasn't the public article that happened then was that it, Jason that Schreier's one uh, it wasn't Jason Schreier's one that came out on the on the Wednesday mm, no it was the, the the first one that came out that we all read was that one on uh, gamesindustry.biz right mm. that was the, yeah, that was the I'm first sure. one that we all that we all read mm. um, I'm not sure there was there was any there was another one but uh, yeah well the point stands that money talks so it does, it does. I suppose voting with your wallet is the only way out with this one and, and this is the other thing as well yeah don't if you don't buy their games they don't make record sales their stock prices and, and when they report don't go up and they'll be pressured to, to make changes and then they'll, they'll have be pr- to, then they'll well have to the investors the people they actually give a shit about it's not your opinion ladies and gentlemen it's the investors opinions mm, it's the it's so. the people that fund the company and are buying stocks and driving their prices up mm-hmm. that's who they like because Yves Guillemot after the whole Vivendi thing he invested millions mm. of dollars in the company and bought a massive percentage that he owns directly himself the person who owns the most shares in Ubisoft stocks is Yves Guillemot himself and his family mm-hmm. yeah so if you don't buy their stocks go down his bank account goes down and, and that's why cries. you don't think that's why he's giving himself 200 million dollar bonuses you know what i mean like ridiculous <sighs> how much how much was it, it was fucking millions of dollars. Like fuck knows how 20 much 20 million what was it it was a fucking a big, it was something big i don't remember exactly what it was it was millions of dollars. It was like millions it. of dollars. But I don't, why is he doing that when like he's not doing anything? Or something? I don't two understand why he's doing that. He's a big man. 
I don't know. Like the f like, how can you have the the fucking audacity to allow this stuff to happen at your company and then proceed well, to not do anything and then fucking give yourself a bonus? Yeah, well, what he'll do is he's he, what he would have done is something along the lines is created like a company like that, a big company like that would have like KPIs, like key performance indicators. Oh um, yeah, yeah. That they would like work towards, and they would like quarterly, half yearly, annually like have these goals they've got to set in terms yeah. of this bullshit, fucking like infinite growth goals, stuff like things, that. like programs they'd use or whatever the fuck. Um, and he would select his own goals that is approved by himself. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, who gives a fuck? Uh, and then he's like, well, I met all these goals. I did these things. Here's, I'm going to implement this culture thing and everyone's got to train in it. Like pat myself on the back. I don't know if it actually worked or did anything. I don't know what's going on down on the, on the fucking, um, work on the floor there, but I'm certainly patting myself on the back cause I implemented a thing and then made it happen. And then, um, I don't know whether it was good. I don't give a fuck whether it was good. Um, but here's millions of dollars in my own bank account because yeah. my stock prices are dropping uh, and I want to balance my checkbook at the end of the year. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever I lost in stocks, I'm going to pay myself back in bonuses. Fucking rich people, man. Oh, mm. no, I'm just reading about some of it. It's it's. So what about... So to counter this, obviously I don't agree with what I'm about to say, but... Um, we need to discuss it because people will bring it up and that's the concept of okay so you make a good point that they care about their money and if I don't buy Ubisoft games then um, then that might help but what about the devs what's going to happen to them if I don't buy the new Assassin's Creed well here's, here's, here's my argument for it personally would be if you do some research and you look into some companies, something I'm trying to do at the moment, I certainly don't know for sure what company's good and bad. Um, I'd have, I'd, I, at the moment, it's sort of innocent until proven guilty, right? Like, if you haven't heard anything, probably just go with that until you do. But yeah. look into it if you can um, the, and, and hear what people have to say about, you know, the company they work for. Um, and go support their games maybe try a game you wouldn't have played before by another company that maybe piques your interest like I haven't tried that before I've been interested but I would never sort of I only buy like one game a year or one game every six months and I choose Assassin's Creed or Far Cry or yeah, like, don't play Assassin's choose Creed one. play like Ghost of Tsushima yeah or, you know, know, and they're like, oh my god that was fun as fuck so support another game and all of a sudden the trend moves to other games to other franchises jobs are created within that people leave Ubisoft if, if they're not making money maybe mm. people get fired fuck I don't know Maybe they I'd do. Or maybe like they What's the alternative, though? Like, well, it's people being harmed while they're working. Yeah, like, exactly. And if what I would like to point out is, people have no problem not buying a game if they think it looks bad, right? No one has that problem. No one says, "Oh, this game looks bad. I'm not going to buy it." And then someone else says, "But what about the devs? They worked hard on that. You, they're going to. What if everyone thinks this game looks bad? What about the devs? No one yeah. says. I mean, that. they're getting paid salary. They're getting paid salary. But that's yeah. But that's the same at Ubisoft. But it's like. Well, this is what like, I'm saying about Ubisoft employees, like the, the devs. That's what I'm saying. Well, they're getting paid salary, right, to make the game. Yeah, um, and, and there's, I'm sure there's, there's no plenty of fucking people within the company that are good, normal fucking people. Yeah, um, and they're still going to get paid, irregardless, in the job. And, and maybe certain people get made redundant. But if there's if there's still healthy um, investment within <clears> the games industry, you don't go from I'm not buying Ubisoft games, I'm not buying any game, but you're continuing to invest your money within the games industry, an industry you believe in, an industry that entertains you then jobs will be there in other areas that you've invested in that the market so chooses to invest in. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's true. Uh, and I just I just believe that anyone who's saying, making the argument, you know, what about, maybe not everybody, maybe it comes from a place of, like, not being 100% educated on what's happening, but it's, I, I think a lot of people are trying to make excuses because those same people, I don't think, buy every <laughs> game that comes out just because they care so much about if devs get paid. It's like it's it's a bit strange like if if you see like a big game that like look at avengers the avengers game right most people yeah. think that game looks like complete shit it is shit but no yeah. but there wasn't a big group of people going oh but we need to buy it anyway because the devs yeah like no, that to me I is not an argument that's grounded in anything it's not and it's just an excuse to play it's, assassin's it's Creed not an honest not argument yeah. in the sense that <laughs> it's just it, like you said it's just an excuse to you know, turn a blind eye to it almost. If that's way, if that's the way. Well, some of people making themselves feel better about. I guess like, they're oh, making you know, themselves feel better. If I do support them, still, I'm supporting the devs. Still buying Ubisoft products, which is, of course, yeah. every individual consumer's own decision. But Obviously, the point yeah, is, yeah, yeah. the argument is, well, I'm right, you're wrong because I'm supporting the devs and you're harming them through this. It's like, yeah, but the alternative is that they're harmed anyway. Yeah. So, exactly. so regardless of whether or not you know devs lose their jobs over that sort of thing. The, 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 it's, it's a fucking 
a co company that's full of misconduct and abuse and you're telling me that mm -hmm. you're telling me that those devs are safe in the middle of that in the far, in the right, heart of yeah, that fucking yeah, scandal not, yeah. you're telling me that that's where the devs are safest rather exactly. than trying to wade through trying to get this trying trying to apply pressure to sort it out somehow and the best way is through a bottom line sometimes and people have no problem like you said um, not buying a game if they think <laughs> it looks bad, if it doesn't appeal to them. Sometimes games don't do very well because nobody's interested. Nobody goes, but what about the devs then? Because why? There's no, because they don't have to yeah, justify yeah. buying the game if they so wish to. Mm -hmm. If they're part of that minority, they don't have to justify it then, so they don't have to do it. They, they don't think that there's, they don't think that there's something wrong with not buying a game because they think it's bad. I don't think there's anything wrong with choosing to not buy a game because you think the company is bad, or because the company has proven itself to be less than less than ideal as a workplace environment and mm -hmm. also probably quite fucked up in some cases yeah. i don't i don't understand like you know you can if you want to justify playing ubisoft games and buying them still great but i think my issue doesn't come from that necessarily but when i see those people going i still buy these games to support the devs but hold ubisoft accountable and all that and it's like but, but yeah Mm -hmm. So you know you got to pick you got to pick one here you know mm. i think yeah i think the issue i have is it comes from people it comes from people d d making it into an a, like as if it's a compelling argument it's it's fu look if you're gonna buy those games and you y you want to do that it's i just feel like it's different though from then saying you know well i'm doing it to support the devs therefore i'm right and you're wrong it's like no you're, do you're like that's not how this works there's there is there, that's not a counter argument that's just another thing that you're doing it's not it doesn't counter what we're doing like it just I just don't think there's there, there is an argument to be made there from those people to say, well, it's just a, it's it, I think it's just an I'm excuse doing a positive to continue here. To, to continue to yeah. play yeah. these games because they can't fucking you know separate you know themselves from a fucking Assassin's Creed game, which is insanity to me. It's like you know, and it's very noble of you. Yeah, yeah, but, but 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 if you're tweeting about or you're fucking talking about fucking hold Ubisoft accountable all this shit, and you're going on a streaming. A fucking Ubisoft That's game my on issue, YouTube. Yeah. That's my or, issue. Or you're going and tweeting out an image of, hey, here's the latest update from Valhalla. Here's the DLCs that are coming out. What do you think of this? How about fuck you? You can't just like, tag hold doing? Ubisoft accountable and think you're suddenly doing something good. Yeah. You're not. You're, you're not. It's not. Just like, it's, it's, to... it's not helpful at all. And, and it is everyone's individual decision whether they want to boycott something or not. But to try and do both sides, to try and say, well, we're holding them accountable, and but also I'm going to tweet out a bunch of pictures of their game, you can't do both things. I think there are some instances where, uh, and this is, a, this is a complicated one, and I think it's worth having this discussion because people keep bringing it up um, to me in the comments, is people keep saying, like, oh, why don't you get into contact with other creators like Jawraptor, like JV? Why don't you get in contact with them and try and get them to do stuff? And to me, there is a it's a that's a complex one because they're cool. you got to remember it's it's well one it, it is their decision for sure, but also for someone like Joraptor, for example, he's running a business, he's got employees that work for him, he's got things like that. If he just suddenly stops playing Assassin's Creed, and and that's where his money he'll comes from, he would be what fine. does he do? Grind, he'll be fine. But but to me, it, I mean, if you look at video, I mean. I mean, I guess, yeah, he could just decide, I'll jump on Horizon Zero Dawn, Horizon... But he already is, he doesn't just cover service. Ubisoft. Yeah, but it, it's, like, 90% of what he does now. And I, I just think, I just think it's a complex situation where, yeah, he maybe could do it and maybe he'd be okay, but I don't think... I think he'd be fine. I think someone like Joe Raptor that makes content he makes, um, the audience is there far beyond a Ubisoft game. Hmm. Um, I think I think he would be just as good, in fact, way better covering uh, games of one high quality. I feel like uh, it would take also, a massive chunk. It'd have to replace that with something quite substantial. Yeah, no, we, I mean, but, but we've all experienced just, first hand. You've got, got Horizon Forbidden West like, about to come really out. Because I would say his, I would say his, like I would say his business and what he's doing with it now and how it's growing and what he's doing is based on his on his like like. Um, his revenue stream that he has now and so if you change that and you shift it and you're like well take in, yeah. take out the entire no, I, chunk of assassin's creed it, it wouldn't be nothing it wouldn't be nothing it wouldn't be an overnight success but certainly i don't have any doubt someone like him the way he makes content and the consistency he has that he, he wouldn't be able to do it that's all i'm saying mm -hmm. well i think yeah, no, i definitely I think, think it's, it's i definitely think it's possible but i just think it's something to consider He's maybe a, jaw raptor could 
Draw up to could I'm gonna say this, Draw up to could probably jump on anything in the games industry and make it successful in his content style because He's got some serious stamina when he creates this stuff, because obviously, like you said, he's a yeah, business sure, yeah. and he runs it as such. And um, I don't know too much about that, but from what I've from what I've seen of the guy, the, yeah, yeah, sure, he doesn't necessarily need to rely on one thing or the other. But I feel like it's all besides the point, because in the end of the day, I don't want to push my perspective on other creators for the sake of no, forcing them to do something, even if they don't actually believe it. Because to me, that at that point, I'm wasting my time. And I don't know if Jaw Raptor believes mm. in holding Ubisoft accountable or not. I'm not saying that. All I'm saying is it's not my business to go and find out. No. Um, he's clearly, you know, he's made his he's made his decision that he wants to keep making content on it. Yeah, I'm not going to have a go at him for doing that. And, and yeah, and he's also is talking about this a lot, actually, to be and fair to him. In yeah. his videos, and, and, and the way I look at this as well is a lot of people had a go at me for my Ubisoft problem video because it wasn't focused enough on the on the mm, yeah um, i saw that stuff and yeah i mean there's a bunch of reasons for that one i made it before the new articles came out two i i know my audience and you look at all my videos that are just on you know the the allegations and, and whatever they they never do as well as other ones do and i felt like i it mean was would you right... but w- it, it's fine that you did that but would you say though looking back if you could do it again you would have made like two videos uh if i could if i could go back and I had the foresight, I would just cut out everything that probably wasn't about the misconduct. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I okay. maybe would touch upon, I maybe would touch upon some of the scummy business practices. Would you I think then would... make a separate video about the misconduct? I, well, yeah, I mean, I already did. Yeah, I but I, yeah. What do you mean? So uh, you, you were just in that video, you would cut out the part mm, of the misconduct I would because just... you feel like that didn't, it, yeah. Well, I, I, cut, I cut the rest out is what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. but but so when you look at so the way Joraptor does when he talks about this stuff he does it within the content and I just feel it brings uh, I don't know I think if if Jor- maybe maybe it would maybe it would do better if he put out a single video where all it was about was like look at the he's Again. A, he, these are the allegations maybe it would but I also I, feel that he's doing well in what he's doing in that he gets a video it gets two hundred thousand views about the new sword in Valhalla but within that video he also brings light to what Ubisoft are doing and does how many that people are actually more listening eyes to that, on though? it I don't know. I reckon there's well, a lot of people watching it going it, don't care I just want best weapons in Valhalla I think yeah I think the difference I think that yeah indirect, it's like it's almost it's almost an indirect marketing effect so people take even if they think they don't care they will register that information they will yeah. take it on and then later on they'll see an article and go oh I remember Jorapt talking about that oh I remember I remember another content creator talking about that and sure it works maybe maybe a diff, maybe a full blown video would definitely do whatever but that's up to nobody but Jorapt to, to decide to do and I don't want to and I don't want to force mm-hmm. my way of thinking or our way of thinking onto somebody. I don't actually know the guy. That, that's yeah. my point. I don't, I don't know, know the guy. I don't want to force my way of thinking onto. Yeah. I don't, yeah, sure. Same with other creators in this sort of space. I don't want to force my way of thinking onto them because it's not my place to. It's not my business to. It's not worth doing and because you can't sure, do that. Do I, think, do I think having them on board would be helpful in this sort of thing? Absolutely. Yeah. Doesn't but i haven't put thought into you know those creators i th- i focus on what we're doing and what how we can do it because then we can focus yeah. on you know the problem mm. which is ubisoft it's not the other creators who are trying to figure out you know their their careers and uh, what to do and stuff like that or the consumers who uh, just want to play games it, it it's focusing on ubisoft and it's about bringing that you know bringing to light what's going on there and you know yeah that is where i i bring my focus that's where i think we all bring our focus and that's the priority it's where it should be. Uh, because mm-hmm. then people will people will maybe hop on maybe people will hop off maybe people will see you know they'll look into it at the very least we bring attention to the situation with a hard stance but it's not necessarily the only option my point earlier about seeing people tweet out you know just 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 game related stuff and then hold ubisoft accountable like they're somehow neutralizing each other that's where it becomes redundant you know it's, yeah it's yeah. the complete neutralization of it it's oh i bought the game to support the devs but hold ubisoft accountable but you've it's tone deaf as fuck imagine yeah. you know buying a game from yeah, ubisoft where, and then boycotting different. them it's like you can't do both of I, them. I, I i yeah sure you can't do both and and you know, using that hashtag, I think a lot of people misunderstand where it's come from. Like, you know, for, for, for I don't know the original, you know, the contents of the hashtag, but when we when we started using it, our our logic was to use it to, 
you know, try to bring light to the message that we need to hold Ubisoft to account. And the only yeah. way to really do that, we found at this point, was their bottom line. However, I don't see... Uh, other content creators, I've not noticed um, many use the hashtag and then stay on board with Ubisoft necessarily. Uh, some have, yeah, yeah, don't yeah. get me wrong. Uh, but in the context of a lot, some of them aren't pretending to be on board with the whole Ubisoft accountable stuff that we've uh, we've been pushing. We didn't come up with the hashtag. It's probably yeah, worth mentioning. No, we, we but, just used it as a central point. When we used it as like a springboard and whatever. Yeah. Um, people, a lot of content creators aren't trying to say, right, I'm with these guys. I'm doing what these guys are doing because they're not, you know, it's not, it's just not the case. And they're, they're, they're trying to find their own way and navigate their own way through something that we shouldn't have to navigate through. And yeah. so there isn't there is enough room to to be for, you know to, to just sort of put out the noise and just focus on Ubisoft and that, that's what I'm happy doing. But but sometimes when I type in the hashtag hold Ubisoft accountable and I see someone just posting pictures of Cassandra or whatever, I, um, I don't think it's happened very many times. I do think to myself, mm. oh crikey, right. Yeah. Um, but beyond that, it's I just. I just can't, I just don't want to go too too far into going after other content creators over this because a, as good as it would be to have them on board, that needs to be their decision. And yeah, yeah, yeah there's no it's point not the only. A it's not on the only decision. It's the only decision we f- felt we had. Sure, it's not the only decision for everybody. It, that's that, that's absurd. Um, mm. Maybe maybe there's another way through this that we're not aware of, but. Keeping the pressure up is the priority on Ubisoft, not on other content creators to jump on board like some bloody, yeah, yeah, yeah. some some angry moral mob uh, pretending to be upright all the time. Um, yeah, and that's because the thing, like, that doesn't people, work either. There's a bunch of different like movements that I've not been a part of, and I would feel pretty odd if people started forcing it on me. Like, if yeah, you don't join this, then you're exactly. bad. Like, no, I'm not a bad person. It's just that's yeah. not my fight. Um, exactly. I, although, then at the same time, I wouldn't necessarily be promoting the thing. But like it's it's a complica- it's complicated. It's a very complicated, complicated. position we sit in because um, when people when people misunderstand what we're trying to do um, and undermine it without realizing that frustrates us. Sure, but mm-hmm. it's not always like like that. You know, it's not all, that's not always what's going on. Some people are just not a part of what we're trying to do and that maybe they're trying to navigate it themselves, and that's that's fine. That's perfectly fine by me. Um, as long as people aren't saying what Ubisoft are doing is absolutely fine, then yeah, yeah. Well, as long know, as we're all of the agreement, that it's bad. I don't think there's yeah. anyone on the planet who could go, yeah, no, Ubisoft, Ubisoft is fine there, like because oh, that would be few. you would be surprised. Well, <laughs> there's there's a few. Decent people, not 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 actual actual cabbages somewhere just um, doing. Oh yeah, I, it's cool I, having fun, lads. Uh, no, fuck off, man. Um, I've, got, I've got my I've got my tinfoil hat on, guys. That I just want to that was steer, directed steer, at Tyler, by the way. S- all right. All right. Steer su- something. You and drugs, Tyler. Did you just steer see some drugs off back. camera? No, <laughs> no, no, fuck no. I was, I, I, was, I, was, I was literally doing <laughs> washing because I, I need clothes for work tomorrow. And I'm like, fuck, I haven't put my fucking hung, hung my um, shirt out and stuff um, for work. Um, also did a bit of a speed ball as well. 11, 11 o'clock at night. Um, yeah. What I want to say was, I was just fucking going thinking while I was doing that about. Why the fuck would Ubisoft stock price drop a couple of days before the article came out? And I'm like, because who would know? People got involved. Who would who would know? I'm like, mm-hmm. well, the CEO owns the mass stock percentage. What if this motherfucker, Yves Gimo, and this is all fucking pure speculation? I gotta say that literally. conspiracy, it's pure speculation, <laughs> pure okay. speculation that um, perhaps Yves Gimo. Um, sold his own stocks while he knew they would be at a higher price, drove his own stock price down by selling it, and then after the article came back, buy stocks back at a fucking premium to push the stock price back up post-article so it doesn't continue to affect the stock price so that it looks like the stock prices yeah, no. aren't dropping based on the article because he knew it was coming out. He just knew the I article put was coming out. He's, he's yeah. Because when you buy back stocks, that does push the stock price value back up if you're adding them so he sells it while it's at whatever it was and then buys it back at a fucking premium after the article so that 
the stock prices are going up post article, which means people aren't got other investors, for example, aren't looking at the stock, getting worried, thinking, shit, that outcome, do I need to sell? Oh, the stock price is going up today and tomorrow. Oh, we're going to hold under the stock for now. So yeah, it actually God, is going to affect the stock conniving prices. Shit. It does make sense. People I mean, he's a business fucking man, do it. So it wouldn't put people me past do it. That, that that's fucking you know. good business. It's terribly. Yeah, important. I mean, he's got where he is um, for a reason. He clearly knows the industry and knows how to play it. Because I was bo- it was bothering me. I'm like, there's no. It makes no fucking sense that a couple. It's too coincidental that the biggest stock drop of the year was a few days before the article. Mm. That was bothering me. That was bothering me. So I'm just saying, perhaps mm. that perhaps that perhaps. that's, perhaps. that's what he's Wink. done. I uh, realize people Bronte listening have probably bored as fuck talking about my stock conspiracies. <laughs> oh man, but yeah, it's uh, it's been it's been a lot. I think, I think, yeah, I don't know. I think we've covered pretty much everything on that topic. Uh, what about? Yeah, Activision? let's get into I'm Activision sure. yeah, Blizzard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, it's time. I haven't read into this a lot because I've been working on this Ubisoft stuff for a while, and it, it fucked me up. I just had to step away and just get yeah. out of it. Well, so I've just the, been retweeting articles, but not really e- e- delving yeah. in Eth- too deep. Ethan, what do you, do you want to run this one then? Well, there's a picture of a few members of HR in a Bill Cosby suite, which is weird. Oh, yeah. yeah. That I've was seen that. like we'll, holding a we'll, picture of Bill Cosby. Which is such a weird thing. Fucking strange. Yeah, but Bill yeah. Cosby yeah. suite. Let me try to find the article um, that I found. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, just trying to, I'm just trying to look for it now. Uh, I'm trying to find it as quickly as I possibly can. Um, yeah, well, it's a similar story to Ubisoft, in a, in is one way to put it. Um, but there's some there's some genuinely fucked up shit here. So I I, I hope you all haven't eaten too much today. I haven't um, eaten anything. I'm just trying to find the article now. Bloody I've, hell! Yeah, I've read some of the stuff in like some of the stuff. I've read some, and it's yeah, it's not yeah. It's it's, it's looking great. a little bit. It's looking a little bit dicey for Activision Blizzard. And like 1,000, mm. 2,000 employees have walked out over it. Um, and, you know, they've, they've walked out. Um, Good on them. Fuck you know, yeah. They've, yeah, they've, wa- they've done a walkout to, to, to... They've not like... They're not like... They've not like, you know, left the company. They've just done a walkout and they've just been like, right, let's do... Like on Strike on, Let's almost. sort this the fuck out. And, and that just proves that there's more than just um, journalism agendas at play there. There's actually a fucking problem. If, if you know, a fifth yeah. of your your entire employee base is walking out over this to say look we you know we're not for this then there's go- there's definitely a fucking issue and so here's the article it's activision sued by california over widespread harassment of women i will paste the link in the skype chat so you can have a look Thank and you. hmm so Bloom, Bloomberg apparently reported that a suit was filed on the 20th of July and as a culmination of a two-year investigation into the publisher by the department which says that Activision Blizzard's compliance with California's broad workplace protections is long overdue and um, basically they've see, they've been violating some shit uh, but let's get into the um, let's get into the meat and bones of it um, the investigation did point out the lack of women in leadership positions at the company and the difficulties they have faced in gaining promotions. The suit also highlighted enormous pay discrepancies at the executive level between women and men and says women are not only promoted more slowly, they're also terminated more quickly than their male counterparts and that the company's frat boy workplace culture is also mentioned as a breeding ground for harassment and discrimination against women. And in, it prov- provided some examples and this is where things get fucked up, Okay. Um, in, in, in the office, um, women are subjected to something called cube crawls, in which male employees drink copious amounts of alcohol and crawl their way through various cubicles in the office and often engage in inappropriate behavior towards female employees. How does that um, develop? I, I just don't furthermore, understand. Uh, yeah, furthermore, male employees proudly come into work hungover, play video games for long periods of time during work while delegating their responsibilities to female employees, engage in banter about their sexual encounters, and talk openly about female bodies and joke about rape. Now, joke let's let's rape. dial back to the first bit, where it's c- cube crawls. Why is that such a common thing that they gave it a fucking name? Yeah, they had to give it a name. Crawl. Yeah. Like, what oh, the it's another fuck? Drinking, why blizzard. are you drinking alcohol at work? Why are you crawling around the cubicles? And why are you engaging in inappropriate behavior towards female employees? There's oh, nothing acceptable about any of those things. Um, 
It's just it, that's just yeah, it's so weird. It's just fucking absurd. Yeah, I mean, and then disgusting. Oh yeah, well. for sure. If you're like drinking alcohol on a fucking regular basis in the workplace, what the? Fuck? That's just weird. Problem. I mean, hey, look, like... a four a four p.m. beer on a Friday afternoon. Yeah, that's one thing. Sounds... You know what I mean? It's the yeah. end of the week. That's that, I'm, yeah, I'm all this about is copious that. amounts of. But alcohol. we're talking about copious amounts of alcohol that's, in that's the, the workplace. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's yeah. ridiculous. Okay, here's an here's another here's the next bit goes. Female employees are subjected to constant sexual harassment, including having to continually fend off unwanted sexual comments and advances by their male co-workers and supervisors and being groped at the cube crawls oh and other company events. High-ranking executives and creators <sighs> engaged in blatant sexual harassment without repercussions. And in a particularly tragic example, a female employee committed suicide during a business trip with a male supervisor who had brought butt plugs and lubricant with him on the trip. And it, the, the I think the suit explains that one a little better than, than perhaps that one does um, in the sense that it goes into a bit more detail about that. So let me find it in the And you can read itself. the lawsuit. That's you can read the law- available, is that right? You, yeah. you can read the, you can and, read and- the file, yeah. Okay, I should prob- we should have for- disclaimed this at the beginning, but yeah. the four of us are not qualified to fucking obviously it's delve in, into the intricacies. In the, for- I'm not going to delve me- into legal intricacy. I'm just going to. But read no, not even that. But also, like, here. we're here to to just make you aware. Yeah, and yeah. discuss it because it's the go. right thing to do. We're not claiming to be fucking here. Right. Here's, here's, here's what like, the lawsuit you know. says. Yeah. Okay. In a tragic example of the harassment the defendants allowed to fester in their offices, a female employee committed suicide while on a company trip due to a sexual relationship that she had been having with her male supervisor. The male supervisor was found by police to have brought a butt plug and lubricant on this business trip. Another employee confirmed that the deceased female employee may have been suffering from other sexual harassment at work prior to her death. Specifically, at a holiday party before her death, male co-workers were alleged to be passing around a picture of the deceased's vagina. That's what it says. Now, uh, that's fucked up. It's the only words that you can be used to describe that. It's fucked yeah. up. Did she die? She committed like, suicide. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like this is fucking. It's this the highest. Fuck. It's really it's, serious. It's, oh man, this is just. It, this t- nothing gets more serious than this. No. This is someone's life is over, and her yeah. family's fucked because of people that just want to take what they want. Yeah. From others. Because some fucking loser. And that's what these guys are. They're fucking losers who've been losers their whole fucking life and get one second of a little bit of power. And And they they act like this. They act like fucking Neanderthals. You're a bunch of fucking losers. Yeah. And that's what you will forever be. Yeah. This makes me so sad that the industry that I love is full of stuff like this, you know? Yeah, no. You don't even have to look further into that. That it, that alone just shows just how big of an issue this is. Yeah, and it's 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 just it makes you just like how like it it really sucks all of your all of your passion out of this entire industry because I love video games and I love the industry but like it, it when you read something like this it's like how and it doesn't make sense logically. But you just think like, how can I even continue to support the industry when it feels like it's when it so feels like it's broken everywhere. fundamentally? If this yeah, is gonna exactly. Happen. This, this could be happening. This could be happening everywhere. And it's and, and you think about like, what can we do? Like, what the fuck? Yeah, can like we do? that's what's so do, frustrating. Because yeah. like, how do I? I don't know what I can do other do you, than not buy certain games. Like, what I don't I just, and talk about how? it. I just don't Look, know. I, I I know what you're saying, James. Like, we we have a laugh, we have a joke around. I I get really fucking passionate about the way young men live their life and the way you know fucking eat healthy, fucking get after it, fucking you know exercise, find hobbies, like do the, and we fucking have a laugh about it. Yeah. But all I know how to do. Is so that people that are invo- and and I'm gonna be honest, it's a fucking stereotype. But people that play fucking games and sit at home, the stereotype exists. F- probably aren't out and about being fucking social. It's just fucking what it is. We're all here. We all play video games. We're not all like that, but mm-hmm. it's. So- then you've got these people that are in the video games industry that I'm sure grew up fucking playing games that were fucking, as I said, losers and never learned how to be functioning adults yep. and became fucking loser adults. They got some power and they act like this because they don't know how to be fucking normal because they were never surrounded by good fucking influences in their young life mm. and they don't know how to behave and they're behaving like disgusting 
unforgivable human beings. So when I talk about and I come on the podcast and it has nothing to do with this, but I'm talking about, look, I, when I see an audience that spends their lives playing video games and they find me from playing video games and they don't do much else, I want to tell them, hey, you can fucking play video games and live a normal fucking life, be social, look after your health, eat well, exercise, have hobbies, be confident, not be fucking losers. It actually matters to me to like, because all I can think of that I can do personally is, yeah, okay, I could not buy the game, but also I don't want to fucking help create. I just want to be for the small, little, minute audience that we have some sort of positivity for young men to not be like this when they're fucking 35, 40, 50 and in an industry where their pieces are shit yeah. because they don't know how to be anything else. Yeah, that's a good point. That is a good point. I didn't really think about it like that because you think like, oh, I want to solve the, the issue right now but there really is a way that you can go about it which is helping people not develop into these sorts of people Mm -hmm. trying to trying to guide people as best you can that's what i think our role is i do think we do do that um that's what the four pillars can do because community you've seen i've seen so many people go from being what you would you know a generic sort of you know they've got like anxiety here and there as like you know a young man and you they you know try to deal with that and coming into this community you see these people become so much more confident and so much more active and just it's it's really nice to see and you don't know where that person could have gone if they never found us if they never found the community of people that they speak to on a daily basis that yeah. you know they can confide in there's a positive influence and yeah, it's not all it's, about like you come great. to us for games but it's not all about that maybe you like get into music or maybe you get into a podcast or maybe you get into some other hobby or some activity or fitness or whatever because you like make friends with different people in the community and that's that's what it's about and that's what our role is i look at the sisterhood and it's a great safe space for for females that want that safe place to be involved in video games and have that that's great that's not what we do what can we do with when our major- vast majority of our audience is is male like we have plenty of females we have female mods like there's plenty of females involved but vast majority are male what can we do is influence them in a positive way so that when they're in positions that a lot of them might fucking work in the games industry they're passionate about video games who are they going to be when they're there are they going to be people that have no idea how to function socially have never had a fucking girlfriend and they get there and they just are abusive conniving pieces of shit and get involved with these this fucking culture of like boys club because they've never had fucking friends and these guys are all and they all like pump off each get pump each other up and shit yeah. and it's just disgusting fucking shit or are they going to be people that fucking love their video games are passionate about games and come into work in the industry but they also are level headed have friends have a social life know how to function in society like Mm. If that's important to me that's yeah. way more important to me than anything else in terms of what we the four of us can do yeah, and i feel like it's an important thing that we can we can provide um now is that we can we can do that will we always get it right mm. um no but we have to try you know mm. we, have, we, have, we have to try yeah. I want everyone that listens to us to be better than we are. You know what I mean? We're yeah. just we're trying our best, but we're fucking full of shit. That these people can all be better than us and learn from from our mistakes. Exactly. Yeah, we can use all of the things that we've gotten wrong to be able to voice what we like, how we know we we fucked up in, in particular instances, and get, guide people from that. And hopefully, they can learn from that as well. That's yeah for sure there's a there's a reason i get on fucking podcasts every week and i go on patreon and talk about how i'm in fucking therapy you know what i mean it's not because i need to talk about it necessarily myself as much i also am like look i'm going through this fucking hard time maybe this will help someone else get through a hard time yeah. if they're listening to me go through it that's how i see it i don't do it because i need to i could fucking talk to someone else about it i come on this microphone and, and give my soul the last three months because i'm like this could help someone and I have people telling me, oh, I didn't even know I had anxiety. I didn't know I had depression until I heard you describe what you're going through. Or I'm going to talk to someone. And we've, yeah. I'm sure all had that where we've had DMs or whatever, Instagram, Twitter, or, or through Discord. And people are like, hey, I just need to talk to someone. Like countless people that are like, mm-hmm. I'm having trouble. I'm struggling. Can you help? And just guiding people. Go, like in Australia, go get a mental health plan. Our government allows that. Go see a psychologist. I've done that myself. You know, like... It, it, getting through problems or like building yourself up as well in positive ways like there's all these influences that we can have on young men and women in what's acceptable and what's not acceptable and no we fucking definitely don't always get it right well documented but fucking oath 
where there's a lot worse people you could be watching and listening to. Mm. There's a mm. fuckload worse. And Definitely. we're at least trying. We're trying. We're, trying. we're fucking yeah, trying. Yeah, I, I do hope people think we, that we contribute to the industry in a positive way. Because we have had a lot of sort of run-ins with people in the past, people that don't like us. But I do hope that on the whole, people think we are positive people. We're fiery. And, you know, that we're... <laughs> yeah. We're, uh, yeah. We're fiery. We're definitely... Look at me now. I'm pumped up. My face is red on camera. Like, it's an issue. <laughs> we're, we're, yeah. we're, and, uh, we're definitely uh, an acquired taste. Uh, not so sure. much now as perhaps in the past. That's true. And we've definitely had awkward ways of going about things as well. But, but you know going forward especially our focus is primarily on being a positive influence that prevent you know prevents you know our majorly young male dominated audience from turning into monstrosities like whoever the fuck allowed that to happen at Activision Blizzard or whatever you know all we can do is try. That's what yeah. we want to do. Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. And obviously talk about stuff like this when it happens. We've and got to talk about it when it happens. Let people know that the industry explain. isn't just all flowers and roses. It's not all happy. There is some yeah. horrible shit that happens behind closed doors. And yeah, it's, that's that's good enough for me. Letting people know that it's happening. And instead of yeah. just sitting there and doing nothing. Yeah. We've got to try yeah. to be content with what we can do. Uh, otherwise, we're just going to, like, I mean, I've felt this way as well. Like, it's just... You just want to give up. just going to be... Like, I just don't... Like, I, I struggle to know what to do. I'm like, I just don't know what to do. And I feel like I can't do enough. And I just... I feel like I'm just fighting, like, an uphill battle. And yeah. it's so difficult. But it we need to be content with what we're able to do. Because I mean, it's hard. At the end of the day, we're... Tear your hair out. We're trying to take on faceless entities in, in a very limited way. It's hard yeah. to do yeah it's uh we, we are trying we're trying our best um yeah so if the least we can do is to influence a few young men to be better you know great that that's something i agree mm-hmm. and hopefully oh, yeah. through bringing attention to these sorts of things giving our opinions on these sorts of things talking about them um, and then, and then talking to people in the community, and you know, on Discord through DMs, and help them through issues they may be having, um, maybe in their social lives that they don't know quite how to tackle. Maybe, maybe that that could at least have a positive impact on those individuals, if nothing else. And then, if if that is the case, then that's something. I I could give two fucks about video games. The only reason I'm still here doing this is because I know I have something to say. And mm. can have a positive influence on on young men and women that listen to us and we have an audience. And I'm passionate about that. I give a fuck about that. Yeah. Like I care about the people that listen to us and consume our content. Uh, as much as I love talking to my mates, you know. Yeah. This, this is important. This is actually important. And we're not fucking heroes. We're not some. We don't have the no. biggest audience in the world. But every little bit is important in all these different YouTube corners, in all these different YouTube spaces, all these different people that have their own audiences that aren't involved with us. That stuff's important, what they're doing. But what are you doing with it? What are you doing with it's what matters. Mm-hmm. And and I think it, it, what matters now is to do what just what we can do within the space that we have, the yeah. li- limited as it is. Mm-hmm. I yeah, agree. definitely, for sure. Um, do we Jesus. want to talk more about this walkout? Because an open yeah, letter was, uh, from yeah, Ubisoft also about, happened today yeah. as well, or the last 24, 48 hours. <laughs> yeah, that that accountability. accountability. Uh, I do not look too much into that. I mean, I'm, I'm a bit behind that part. And, and we'll, I, I, but, I believe for a surface of from what I've read, because I've read it while, like half read it while I was at work today, um, like over a thousand people, f- employees from Ubisoft. Yeah, over 2,000 now. It was over wow. 2,000. One, yeah. one of the good quotes. Um, in relation to this if I can find it hold on let me just go find it here um, it, in talks of this uh, the, the employees that have signed this this letter one of the good quotes that Luma tweeted out um, I thought was was, was a nice uh, little oh, message yeah, I saw which that. says yeah it says uh, we've stood by and watched as you fired only the most public offenders you, you let the rest either resign or worse promoted them Move them from studio to studio, team to team, giving them second chance after second chance with no repercussions. This cycle needs to stop. Um, which, coming from the people that work at the company, means it's, a lot. Um, yeah. To to the to the whole. 
to everything that's happening because we can yeah. say this shit but coming from the people at the company the people that work there um, that tells you everything you need to know it, yeah that is really yeah. important it's a, conf- it's a confirmation as well it's a confirmation that you know these these individuals who've done these walkouts at Activision Blizzard at Ubisoft they've probably witnessed some of this they've probably some of them may have even experienced it yeah um and and for those people to take that stand and say yeah this is happening it needs to stop um is is huge um validation for everything that we've been hearing in the sense that we now we now know that there are definitely issues for certain 100 percent, without a shadow of a doubt if there was any doubt anyway which there really wasn't by by this point that there are issues that need resolving within these companies and if 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 the employees and the consumers both find themselves on the same wavelength with this then who knows maybe we might actually start to see change i bloody yeah. hope so that's if that's we do, like i just if we see something meaningful happen off the back of this it would just make it all so fucking worth it yeah because yeah. yeah. it, it can feel so fucking hopeless at times and um yeah it, it does, does. But it's what it is it's it's just rough um we got as well though um yeah for sure um we got as well uh someone that used to work at ubisoft uh just tweeted out talking about how um uh the third party investigation into ubisoft last year included a silence a silencing agreement preventing people from discussing their experiences publicly uh, or otherwise once signed which is something that i think we all knew was probably we in play yeah no they can't yeah, hear it confirmed is yeah. you know again, but if your entire yeah. company walks out the door and goes no uh um, what can you do can yeah, you sack can all you of them can you really afford to no you can't do when that. you have you... thousands of people signing this letter you can't I think... Get I think Ubisoft's number was at about 500. And yeah, yeah, Activision got, Blizzard was yeah. about 2,000. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Something like that. Which is, and what, is yeah. that, what does that tell you? Yeah, it's big. Um, and it's, it's just, huge. It, it's, it's as much as this is the worst, you know, shit that I mean, I've ever been involved in during my time in this industry. It's it's nice to see some, some like, people come together. Some it's solidarity. nice to see some accountability. Yeah. Um, it, and feel like the employees being, are getting a voice a yeah, real yeah. voice yeah it it's felt good like to see before the there was the em- nothing it's good to hear the voice of the employees if you will yeah it's yeah. good that it was all well and good us talking about it but it means so much more coming from those people exactly yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly you know because we can't even dream what you know some people have gone through in those companies no you yeah. can't even imagine it it's that fucked up feeling like you're just isolated and like you have nothing and there's just no way to get it out and every time you do people just scream that you know you're a liar or you know you just oh you just want to take down the the, the games i like yeah. like you just gamers are the most some of the most entitled people out there that just don't want to hear anything yeah mm. um it must be so difficult to try and get through and to be able to like for these people now to actually feel like they do have a voice and they have a platform and they can speak out um yeah, it must be a really positive thing for those people. Yeah. yeah absolutely. <sighs> yeah. Blimey. What What else do we do? We want to cover anything? I was like, like I. I don't, don't want to miss know. anything. I can't there's think of a, anything. There's else. been a bunch of articles on the same things, but I don't know if there's yeah, any no. New there's there's the bloody there's that fucking Bill Cosby sweet image, which oh, oh yeah, do you want to talk yeah. about that? Actually, I feel like I don't know what was... there is to talk what, about. What about is that? It. It's what just, is that? It's just a picture of um. Um, a few developers from um, Activision Blizzard and I think there's a couple of HR members in there as well but don't quote me on that uh, posing with a portrait of Bill Cosby at BlizzCon in 2013 when was the Bill Cosby stuff because the, the um, I don't quite remember I've sent a link to like the, when did it all the come Kotaku out? article there um, mm, let's have a look because I mean I look in maybe it was before it was 2014 so okay. it's, that is very very much so an unfortunate thing to come to light now yeah didn't everyone know bill cosby was a bit dodgy though isn't that everyone, i mean he's always seemed a bit i mean he's always seemed a bit dodgy i'm sure um but i don't know i don't know see that picture is when, when was the when, what year was the bill cosby stuff 2014 well like i mean i don't know why you get angry at this then if they didn't how they they don't know it's just, but it looks i mean this it's, is just devil's advocate here 
It yes. just looks like a bunch of dudes posing with a picture with a celebrity they didn't know was a piece of shit. To be fair, Bill Cosby has been in, under investigation since 2005. Says yeah, right there are, there, he's, has definitely, he? yeah. he's definitely been... I didn't been, know that. Yeah, that's you what, know I, what thought. I mean. I thought he he'd always been like suspected a, of it, but has, it was never like he has had his moments. That's the thing. I don't yeah. think this but is I, something I get, to focus I don't on. Yeah, has, I don't yeah. think this is anything to focus on. This is a fucking waste of time. Yeah, yeah. This is no, definitely yeah, feels this is like just a, red, to be the face of the fucking. It's situation. definitely not yeah, a face yeah, for the situation. It's just some red herring. It's a bit of a red herring. Yeah. Blizzard and Ubisoft. Like, what is this picture? Like, who? Don't read into it. It doesn't matter, yeah. yeah. It just doesn't yeah. matter in the grand scheme of things. They took a picture it's, of, like, that's not... Who cares? Yeah. Like, who it's a bit that? weird people, to look at, especially people considering... People love it because they're like, oh, it's the it's the people that have just got done in for the this sexual age, harassment. And they, they like Bill like Cosby. Milk. Oh, my God, this is a cosmic sign. Yeah. Like, I just... It's not relevant. Um, it doesn't I matter. Know, I don't know about that one, yeah. but... Um, it's cer- it was certainly fucking weird to look at that. It's like, oh... It's definitely yeah. weird. It's definitely yeah. weird. It's a dumbass coincidence. That's yikes, you know? But, hey... It is what it it is what it is. It but beyond that there's not really much that I think we need to go over um yeah. necessarily. Yeah, I feel like mm-hmm. that's yeah. everything. I like, feel like we've not... made I feel like we've had our piece and we've said what we have to say. Yeah. Um Can I actually beyond... read off this one last quote? It's very short. I think it sums up the sort of Ubisoft side of things and probably to be honest the Activision and Blizzard side of things because they both have similar attitudes towards their employees. Um, yeah. It's the developers there are treated like resources, not people. And I've been saying yeah, this for a yeah. long time, and I think that's just it perfectly sums it up for me. You know, these people are seen as numbers, how much money that you know they're worth, opposed to you know actual people with lives and dreams and and hopes yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, it's certainly not an I- certainly not an ideal situation. You want to feel valued in you know in your place of work, especially if you're yeah. passionate about what you're doing. Exactly, and. Yeah. And to have that, it, that to, to not have that, that can be so fucking soul crushing. I can only just imagine how soul crushing that must be for a lot of these people, no. especially people whose dream job was to work on a game that they they liked, you know, when um you know a game that they liked, and then they get this opportunity to work on it, um only to be harassed, bullied, um, discriminated against, you know, the lot. That that that's just got to be so soul crushing. Yeah. And um, yeah, no, I can't imagine that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, that's yeah. That's all I have to say on it. I'm pretty much yeah. done. Yeah. I will be making I my a video talking about it. I will because I just yeah. want to add to the conversation. But yeah, that's for this podcast. I, I can't think of anything else that we really no. Can no, go over. neither. I'm sort of like sort of like there now. I'm just sort of yeah. We're still waiting to say. Um, well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in uh, to mm-hmm. this episode of the Four Pillars Podcast. Um, and again, we'll, we'll put the links to these articles that we've been talking about uh, in the description for you to peruse and have a read and, and get informed. I definitely want to get, if it's possible, the um, at, at least a, some sort of link to take you to the lawsuit um, to read if you so choose to um, mm-hmm. and, and really get, um, yeah, make up, I guess, make up your own mind, you know, because our allegations, right, and everything is, of course, allegedly um, that we've been talking about here today. Um uh, but yeah. of course we want to you know keep you informed and and let you know what you know i guess what we think like whether that matters or not but certainly you know make sure it's being talked about and amplified and the message is getting out there and, yeah. and shout out to those developers that are fighting the good fight and and yeah. getting their voice heard it's 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 been really great to see and um these are fucking insanely serious um you know allegations especially you look at the blizzard not not to lessen any others, but the, someone died. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. A, a, so this isn't a fucking joke. It's just it's, you know it just I mean? shows how sick the industry is. You know, there, there needs yeah. to there needs to be some big yeah. change. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. um, uh, I, I encourage everyone to to be informed and to and and make up their own mind. But if you're going to make up your own mind, be informed. Um, so read the articles if you so choose. Yeah. Um, thank you, boys, for for being here. All you know, all three of you, and um, and and chatting it out and, and having the serious conversation. Yeah. After our silly goose time, because we always like to have a silly goose time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we like to, um, we like to fuck around. And we like to have a, flock of silly a bit geese, of a good laugh. I would just like to say that Ubisoft and Activision Blizzard, as corporate entities, can go and suck a fat cock. Yeah, there you go. Uh, and um, that's all there is to say. Yeah. They can not suck that our four pillars. Wrong. Not that it, you know? not that it's wrong, but that's what those companies can go and do. 
Yeah. It's like a cock that's just too big. It's not even a pleasant experience. Exactly. Even if you like it, it's just too big. The cock is too no, big. Right. I feel I feel like we're Let's going not. the wrong way with the sexual innuendos. But um, you know. Yeah, true. That's uh, a good point. Yeah, I feel um, like probably not the right one. I think <laughs> oh, I think more they can just you our know, entire get hour and a half like, conversation has just gone out the window. <laughs> yeah, it's just gone out the window. No, yeah, I mean no. certainly Ubisoft, Activision, Blizzard can get fucked. Um, Definitely. as far as I'm concerned yeah. um, and fire Eve Gimmo is, is my biggest point um, right. I want him fired Not, even though he'll be replaced by another fucking Gimmo brother um, you know so it's sort of like oh, what the fuck to do Just that's don't, true yeah don't support Ubisoft to talk about him or buy any of the games ever again that's my advice to you um, <laughs> sir imagine buying but another anyway, Ubisoft game in your life Could no be on, and, yeah yeah, yeah. Never again. so um, but again yeah thank you for tuning in appreciate you uh, and we will see you all next time. We've got more podcasts on the Four Pillars Network that you can check out that are uh, maybe less serious if you want some fun time. But we've got plenty of serious stuff we'll always talk about on these sorts of shows if they come up. Uh, and we'll be following these stories as they progress. Uh, and we'll see you all next time for another episode of the Four Pillars Podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, thank mm-hmm. you. Take care. Goodbye. Yeah, take Bye. care, everyone. Bye. Goodbye.